Yo, this fucking guy is insane, yo. Hello, everybody. Are you ready to smile? From the morning time here in Glendale, California, it's Tim Heidecker here back in America. Uh, much to my chagrin, I must say. But no, happy to be home. It is April <laughs> 13th. And uh, it's a little misty out, a little drizzly. Getting some late, uh, early or early spring rain here. A little, not chilly though. Nice little... Beautiful out there, actually. Kind of a happy to be home. Happy to be home. Whoa, I'm getting. We are getting immediate technical difficulties, and I am not surprised because when I uh, take drops. leave, what's the diff? I hear a little uh, delay. Yeah, I don't sounds, know where it's coming. Sounds cool. Of course to me, you don't. Oh, that's I'm me. Into it. Oh, oh, Doug. Oh, 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 oh. Doug's new well, instant drops. It's been, you know, I... It's been. It's, it's a little been, rusty. It's been a while. Calm down. <laughs> Everybody take a Get chill Get music feel. off. <sighs> oh, my goodness. What is this, 2018? That's a reference to the early days of Office Hours, the show I began. <laughs> so independently. I had no studios supporting me. I had no corporate sponsors. And I had nothing. I had... My wit, my intellect, my gumption, and that's it, folks. And Facebook Live. And Skype. Remember Skype? We all remember Skype. No one uses Skype anymore. Poor Skype. They blew it. Zoom came in. Zoomed in. Discord for a minute, right? Discord. There was a Discord period. We had uh, some, some assistance from... Podcast companies that turned out to be fraudulent. Oh, no, that's yes. right. <laughs> one of your earth emotions. And then, of course, Victor and Doug came in, and then Boom. Matt came in, and Wes and Boom. Luke, and everybody Boom. stepped Boom. up. Boom. But they're not stepping up quite high enough wow. to my level. And if I could turn back time, <laughs> <laughs> I would find a way. To get on Team Coco, be part of that podcast scene. I want to be on Team Coco. <laughs> I don't what know does why. Team Coco have that? I don't know. I'm, just, really. I'm just riffing, and that's what I do best. Is that what Conan does now? Is he's, he's a podcaster? Yes. On Team a, Coco? Uh, he's right there mm. every day. Do you listen to him? I don't listen to anything except uh, my audio book on, uh, the, war, war, on the Hitler. <laughs> the yeah, rise and fall of the you Third are Reich. into Hitler these days. And, uh, and my hardcore history and my, the podcast that, that uh, lauds the on-cinema world greatly, 
on tour. You were so happy to be in the city that at the time you were reading about it was taken over by Hitler. I was not happy. I well, was fascinated. I mean, you were excited uh, about Amsterdam, yeah. But anyway, let's begin the show. I am happy to be back live here. And uh, thank you to Matt and Doug for, and Neil Hamburger and uh, Brent, Brent Weinbach. And who else? Laura Weinbach. And yeah, who? Laura. Brent's sister, Laura. Oh, yes. yes. Lizzie Cooperman. Lizzie Cooperman. Everybody who held down the fort. George Clanton. George, George Clanton rocked out. George Clooney. And uh, so, and you're, and you guys for sticking with us and, and understanding. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, on Tim Heidecker's YouTube channel, uh, it's been a very confusing week for me to understand what's happening. Uh, but we are now porting the show to youtube.com slash office hours live. So make sure you just click over there. Um, and, but of course, your first stop ought to be patreon.com slash office hours live. That's going to have all the info you need. You can support the show and get all sorts of goodies. Oh, I'm going to be sending God, a Halloween uh, candy basket out in the mail to two lucky patrons this weekend. I'm going to go down to the post office and make sure that happens. Last year's Halloween Last candy. year's Snickers. Hmm. Uh, but good morning, Doug. Oh, uh... Oh, shoot. Good. All right. Good morning, Vic. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Good morning. And uh, why don't we do this, Matt? Why don't we jump? Ready. First of all, if you're watching the Instagram live experience this morning. Let's get cracking. You got the news that we have redesigned the studio. And you might, the thing, the beauty of it is you might not even notice. If I didn't say anything, you might have said, I don't just like a regular old Thursday over at the Office Hours HQ. But what we've done, strangely, for reasons that escape me, we have shifted, what do you say, 15 degrees? What's the- uh, Maybe, maybe 20. 20, 20 25. Degrees, three, 20, We're now this five. way. So normally, the shows, I would be here. Beautifully symmetrical with the room. Now I'm this way. <laughs> But the big, the reason, the, one well, of the big reasons. You're doing is, it for the for the people watching. Yes. I mean, they're into it. We have mounted cameras now instead of the big old tripods Where's that everyone that trips over. Mm. And Canadian it's a, mounted give cameras. Give them a taste. Don't expect no kiss from okay, me. Okay, we're going to Vic Never Vision left. right now live. This is, this, is, this is my view, everybody. <laughs> so this is nice. And okay. cut. <laughs> then I see this, but then. All I have to do is what? do turn left, and what am I seeing? Hey. Staring at me, Matt right Carlin. Here. So this is my look. I'll, I'll be doing a drop, like a. Oh what? Oh what? All right. So Matt that approves it or not? If it's funny. Now we've done these There's shows before. This is another guest-free office hours experience. So don't expect fucking uh, Robert Downey Jr. to walk in here, <laughs> or. Eric Bana, Don't who played no kiss from me, liver Hulk. Lip. <laughs> right? <laughs> Eric Bana. Or, you know, fucking uh, whoever. Hey, R.E.M. Jeremy Renner. Imagine us getting R.E.M. in here. Cool. not expect. Michael Stipe. Michael Stipe. Oh, that'd be a get. I, like, I, just, I just started following him on I Instagram. I noticed that. You notice that? Because like, I, I follow him, but no. <laughs> but I, you go to his no, and like, check who he's following? No, he was posting something. It was all, one of his close-up selfies again. I think he liked oh, it. I, lo like, I love Michael Stipe. I love R.E.M. Do you have his close-up selfies? He does close-up selfies? There's a lot of those in there. What a, gen what a you know, pure, uh, pure person, I think. Pure. That's what I look for in people. Purity. <laughs> what a pure narcissist with his <laughs> close-up selfies. But we, it, it, today is about us. It's about uh, reunions. It's about sharing tales from the road, yo, catching up. This fucking guy is insane, yo. <laughs> Let's take a Zoomer to welcome and just say, hey, because it's about you too. It's about not yeah. you too, the band. <laughs> J Joint. You look like Slid, a slide down fellow. Your throat. Hey, can you hear me? Very yes, clear. Yes, sir. Oh, great. Um, I have a story, Tim. I don't expect you to believe it, but it's true. All righty um, Can I get our friend up here on my monitor? And, and I'm not going to sue you, so don't worry. Uh, it was a badge of honor. Uh, Tim and Eric tour. I think it was 2019. You're in Washington, D.C. I was in the front row. That would have been 2020, friend. 2020. I was in the front row, and 
you jumped off the stage to uh, yell at someone for filming and you straddled me like nice. a stripper. It was amazing. Gave you a you little lap dance? My, yeah, you also stepped on my foot. Uh, and a couple of weeks later, after some reoccurring pain, I found out my pinky toe had a hairline fracture in it. Oh. So, uh, uh, you know, thank you for that. It was amazing. Well, there's nothing you could do about a little pinky break. I mean, the, I, I used to get those all the time as a kid. I'd be walking around. I'd yeah, yeah. walk right into but the also, door. But also, I would say for you and Vic, I was at the uh, Washington <laughs> D.C. Uh, concert. Yes. Uh, two games, and we rushed the stage. And I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. And we all danced uh -huh. for hours. It was amazing. And there was I, something happening. That that you know, night. it's crazy. That night was something weird was going on because... First of all, I might have told the story, but it, we didn't know this venue is a new venue. It, we walked in, and we're like, this is kind of neat. It's kind of weird. It's kind of new. It turns out it was a church. It was like one of these, yeah. like, uh, Pastor Char Charlie, uh, Prophet Charlie Champ kind of churches, like young, new, hip church. And also, like, his book was everywhere. Yeah, not no, Charlie no, I didn't Champ, see any but, Bibles, but the, yeah, that Yeah, this guy that had all these religious books everywhere. Yeah. So it was this weird, but it was a nice room. It happened because sitting there in a concert in your seat is, is the worst. So I was glad everybody ran up there. Yeah. We ran up. And that and night, for some reason, the power of my music, <laughs> the power of God was in the room, which is also synonymous uh, that's with all my I music. Excuse me. When people talk about the power of God, they're also talking about the power of my music. You understand? <laughs> These are synonymous. But yeah, everyone came rush, and I want more people to do Give that when we tour the United Christ. when we tour the United States again this summer, which is the big news. Tim Heidecker's "The Two Tims" returns to the to America, hitting you all the cities. We... <laughs> I'll be there. Where are you going to go? Do you, did you look at the dates? I think, I think I saw Philly, so we'll probably take the train. Well, you saw the wrong, because we're not going oh, to Philly. Oh, no. Uh, but New Jersey. Maybe, oh, you're not coming to D.C., Maybe so I remember we there was a couple spots around that, that I was so, thinking about going. Let me get this straight. This is important. You saw the show last year, and you want to come again. Yes. You were satisfied. It was awesome. I you, mean, the, the stand-up comedy was, was great, but the music was much better. There we go. I mean, the comedy's Jesus. terrible. Let's just be honest. That's a great fucking record. Around. Nobody yeah. fucks with the Jesus. This is what I want to make a point about. Vic, let mm -hmm. me know if I'm wrong. I can, I can correct you. These, if I, have to. I, have, I have received zero complaints about the show. That's right. Does anyone have, come to you and say, hey, to, man, I was kind of no. disappointed. I was expecting something else. I've only heard the opposite, I, I have to say. Uh, it's a complaint-free show. Either they're being very nice or they, they I would legitimately hear. love I it. I would hear. <laughs> it would immediately if there was dissatisfaction with the show i would get right. it in a second where on twitter on in, you know on or messages. the room would empty out people sure. would just leave there are no empty rooms but i've taken my wife to a couple of tim and eric tour shows and she's she doesn't you know she doesn't get it so she's like i mean yeah i guess it was funny and, but she went to that with me and she kind of laughed so she, that, she walks I mean, away. Let's clip, You're an entertaining that, let's guy, clip so. that out and start publish uh, start using uh, local television advertising dollars <laughs> to get the message out. I had oh, a couple. Dylan. I had a woman in um, flying from Copenhagen to Amsterdam, sitting next to this lovely woman. Um, I can't tell you what her age is, but let me just say this: she had a 19 year old daughter sitting behind her. Everybody so, unless you know, she was a in her mid fifties or sixty or something. And uh, we got to talking. Of course, I'm very cordial. I'm very, I'm not one of these guys that just shuts down on a plane. I engage. I love Batman. <laughs> That's what I start with. <laughs> I'm sitting next to people. So you'll come back from first class back to coach? No, I, just... I was coaching it all the way, Doug. <laughs> he coached it. He coached and it. I sat next to this woman. That's the first thing I say, I say, I love Batman. <laughs> And, and let, sometimes let the they shut me go. down. Yeah. Sometimes they go, they smile and nod and then go back to their book. But in this case, <laughs> she engaged. And, you know, these, these fucking, uh, I'm going to give you a kiss after swallowing you. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it slide down your throat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> these uh, Scandinavians <laughs> couldn't be nicer people. They're, they, they have this, uh, kind of um, very healthy confidence about themselves. You know what I mean, Vic? I do. I do. Very I do. Like, we are very rich people uh, as a nation. We, we are very happy. <laughs> you know, and there's no problems. So. And I think they can afford to be 
overly like honest about yes. things too. But know, anyways, this woman that. was curious about what we were all doing, and I was telling her about the show. And I, you know, this is not your your uh, typical Tim head sitting next to me. This is a serious woman. Sucky, sucky, <laughs> lovey, lovey. Mommy, and mommy. we got. I said, oh, we're playing at this place in Amsterdam, and uh, boy, you know. And she said, oh, I'd love to see it. I'd love to take my daughter to this show. Oh, yeah, yeah, it didn't sound like that. She did, in my head, she did. <laughs> Uh, and I go, well, of course, here's, you know, what's your name? I'll put you on the list. Bing, bang, boom. <laughs> Again, knowing that, is she going to be turned off by the whole thing? I did prep her. I said, listen, the first half, the stand-up character is intentionally bad. That's he, nuts. That's, that's the joke. He goes, okay, I understand now. So she showed up with her daughter, and all by all accounts, I didn't get to talk to her. By all accounts, she was there the whole show. And according to my tour manager, JP, had a wonderful time. So bring your moms. That's been I and love my greatest time. satisfaction, I love and I'll move on. on. My greatest satisfaction is when I see somebody a little bit on the older side at the show. That's being honest and humble, and that's how you're supposed to be as an adult man. Because what I realized, it clicked with me. Let's say, let's say you're a boomer. You're in your 60s or something. Where is it written <laughs> that you can't? have a good time, that you can't enjoy something a little outside the mainstream. Where is it written that you lost your sense of humor when you turned 60? Who's dictating that? Because frankly, those folks, the boomers that we all like to pile on, these folks grew up with Andy Kaufman. They grew up with Monty Python. They grew up with the unknown comic and Gallagher, Hallelujah. these people get it, and they love rock and roll. So bring your dad and bring your mom. All right, thank you for the call. Let's do the city of the day. The city of the day. What a transition we are getting. We're back at it. There we go. Ain't no question about that. Now the city of the day, folks. Here we go. The city of the day. See now, Wes, now because of the new orientation, I'm looking all the way over here, which is very unprofessional. And as, uh, as the corporate world peeks in on the masterful work we do on this show, and they think about me for doing term life insurance commercials or <laughs> <laughs> mattress commercials or whatever it may be, or Dunkin' Donuts, whoever's watching, they're going to go, hey. I was all on board with this guy, but now what? what's this about? <laughs> <laughs> How's that going to play? So we'll need to get to the bottom of that and fix that immediately for next week. And Wes, we can meet on that privately. <laughs> Acknowledgement, please. <laughs> He's out. He's... <laughs> He's already. Wes usually takes a break the during hill. the show. He goes and he goes to the coffee shop and he comes back. He just starts the, gets it running, and then he. Leaves. The can, studio can of the me. day is sponsored by. No, I'm going to try to do it like this. Doug, Doug how does this? Look? <laughs> Wait, I got to see your. Are your eyes over to the side? Yeah. <laughs> I can't see. Yeah, yeah. Just look over to the side because you're going to hey. be in a little. You're going to be in a little window in the corner anyway. Hey. City of the day is sponsored by Dipsticks Book. <laughs> Can we skip this? <laughs> See, the day is sponsored by Dipsticks Booger Shed. Are you a grody toad man who likes boogers? Does normal society reject you because of your stinky stench or poor hygiene? Well, now you can let your freak flag fly at Dipsticks Booger Shed. Dipsticks has all the crusty stuff that a toilet boy needs. Jars of mold, booger bags, diaper tape, butt diggers, the horse butter, wimp whistles, syrups, and cheese booger, cheese chuggers. Not only does Dipsticks offer great products, they also have, they also host workshops and events such as Toenail Tuesdays, Wiping Wednesdays, and the Wet Skid Mark Contest hosted by Uncle Cornballs. Cornboils? Cornboils. Dipsticks was founded in 191. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I like that. No one ever thinks about the 100s. 
Dip Six was founded. That that might be a typo, but I'm going with it. Dip Six was founded in nine in 191 by Denny Dipstick, and it's been proudly <laughs> been in business for almost 2,000 years. <laughs> or more than what is the math on that, man? Uh, 191 was how many wait, years? Wait, we're 2023. Yeah, we're not, wait. That's uh, we're almost 2000. We're almost at 2,000 years. But 1900. Not, yes. Uh, so long ago. Yeah, it's 2000. Well, it was founded by, by Denny Dipstick and has been proudly serving the slob <laughs> community ever since. Good news. Show us your warts and get a free half gallon of the new uh, zit flavored clown pop. All week only. <laughs> all week only. <laughs> at Dipsticks, located behind Donkey Hair House off of I 83 in Westmont. Dipsticks, Burger Shed, what's in your diaper? Dip, All right. Dip, 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 d
Um, so my little brother just moved in with me, and we've been like talking about music and all, all of that. Give him a stuff. break. So it's a weed whacker. So just, for what? Yeah, for what? whacking. You said you got to start oh, whacking. That, that's oh my God. terrible instinct. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Start again. You're about to say oh, something. Your beautiful. brother. Your brother. Go ahead. <laughs> Yes, yes. So, so, and, and it reminded me of the fact that, like, growing up, you you pass music down and you pass, uh, like, your your, your, your interests down yeah. to your I right, you exactly. Brother. And as as I have uh, uh, grown older, I've realized, like, I really don't like I, I don't get any of that anymore from like friends or whatever. Like, you you kind of yeah. go out into the world and do your own thing. And OHL and Tim. And, and 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 Vic is where I'm getting it. Not Doug, but yes, right I agree. No, it's, that's it's, what it's, I've it's... always wanted to do. Right on, brothers. <laughs> you know, you might not yeah. like so everything anyways, I like, I but I have, an outlet. That... I have an outlet to share my feelings about everything, including what I'm into, what I like, what I recommend. And it is a community. And the audience watching now understands that more than anyone. I love oh, talking about bowel movements. <laughs> well, thank you for that, friend. <laughs> And uh, listen, we'll keep doing it. We'll keep providing I want to that you. information for you. Thank you, Tim. Um, now, Thank you, Grant. I just want to explain quickly my <coughs> return uh, travel uh, and, and complain about it. Uh, <laughs> we got back just, I mean, it's, I got through it, but I'm still going through it. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> When'd you come back? I got, well, here's the deal. Quickly. Got back Friday afternoon. By the time I get home, it's about 5 p.m. last Friday. It was a long day of travel. It was fun, but I, I didn't do a lot. Of, I didn't sleep. Where'd you, you fly know. back from? Amsterdam. Where'd Ten and a half hours. Yeah. Uh, nonstop? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think we stopped a few times. I mean, to fuel <laughs> up. <laughs> Wait, mid, a few mid times. <laughs> Stop to go pee. There's no bathrooms on these That's planes the anymore. Oh, yeah. They so see. everybody gets off, yeah. goes to the <laughs> toilet. Gets back on. It's a you know what I saw? Yeah, stop for a toilet break and then get yeah. back in the There sky. was. It was cool. I saw one of the flight attendants pop into this door and then climb upstairs. To, there's like a break room up there. Oh, and they were just hanging yeah, out of there. Those dreamliners. Yeah, I want to get up there. Well, anyway, so I get back at five. Happy to be home and see the kids and my wife. And uh, But I'm a little dazed, you know. Five. Uh, I push through. I stay up. Because, you know, the thing is, you don't want to just go right to sleep at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Then you're waking five, up at 1 in the morning. Thank you. 1. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not helping. Uh, next morning, I have agreed to this, so it's no surprise. But next morning, we, we're up. I'm up early anyways. But, what time? Well, I probably was getting up throughout the night at different, you know, just 3, time. 4. One, so, two. But around six, six o'clock, I kind of get up and five. Come on, man. That's yeah. not, it's just not, it's not, it's not, it's not very amusing to me. Uh, and the plan is we go to Palm Springs, 7 a.m., 7 30, whatever, to go to my mom's place for the Easter weekend with my sister and her kid and, and her husband, my brother in law. So that was an intense, energy shift, the likes of which I've never experienced. Still in a fog of jet lag, coming from the road and suddenly finding myself sitting at my mom's house, uh, get, giving her advice on the ham, <laughs> the, the, the temperature levels of the ham. And it was, a, it was, a, it was tough. It was Hello, just, food fans. I, was, I couldn't have been fun to be around. <laughs> Let me just say that. <laughs> Doug, I could not have been fun to be around that day. <laughs> Did you find any eggs? I don't remember that. Did you hide any eggs? No. Um, all right, let's take another call. We did the call. eggs. We did the eggs. Rosie, Rosie ate an entire hard-boiled egg that was died. <laughs> the, the shell, the shell, <laughs> shell and the all. shell and all. Yeah. Sick. Do you want to share your rosy tail from the road? Was that? Oh yeah, knowledge? yeah. I didn't bring her along today, but yeah, it was a Glasgow, right? No. Where the hell was it? It was uh, you brought Rosie Oslo. No, it, it, it was good. Oslo. It was so, Oslo. Yeah, it was. Walk me through what happened because so, we had yeah. another Rosie another. strap in for this one game. Right? Because yeah, I, and you know, I'm in I'm in Oslo, and I get this call from my babysitter Sam. This is before this. It's like uh, before my Q and A. So it's like yeah, it's like coming up to the show time. I would have you know, I'm getting ready. 
Tim's about to get on there and everything, getting in the mindset. And then I get a call from my babysitter who was watching Rosie uh, while my my kids and wife were on a little trip. So they didn't, weren't allowed to bring Rosie. So Sam watched Rosie. So I got this call. <laughs> it's hard to talk with the drops going. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh. I did one drop. Wait, no, wait, no. what? <laughs> you can't blame say me. That it's hard. What? It's I did. Hard. I did no drops. I did one. <laughs> what? One wait, cell what phone. did you say? I like food. Uh, it's tough. To, it's tough. Yeah, it uh, is. Great American Hello, It God. sure is. <laughs> so but I, please continue. Yeah, all right. I'm Doug, <laughs> up you go. <laughs> Look at this. I'm taking this. You can do all the drops you want. Because people love it. Rosie and they want to hear about this. Yeah. So I. So so um, Rosie. Yeah, Rosie apparently got loose again. There, she's in Koreatown she, at uh, Sam's. She just darted out the door. Mm. He, uh, Sam might go looking for her. No idea where she is, you know. And then finally, like, I'm, and well, he calls me. I'm like, I, I'm in, you know, Oslo. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Vic comes into the room, yeah. reports the news to everybody. I'm yeah. like, oh, Jesus. I know. I was, I, I, I know, but you were good about I it. I kept it for an hour, like, to myself. You know, but you did. You you said, "Listen, guys, I got um, yeah." A well, you're like, "What's going on?" Somebody asked me because they yeah. could tell, and then yeah. So anyway, so time goes on, and as we're about to get on stage, I get a call from a random number. It's like, "Do you have a little white dog?" And I'm like, "Yes, I do, I do." And and she's like, "Well, she hopped on a city bus and is headed downtown." <laughs> <laughs> so she saw an opening on a bus, hopped on. And and what? traveled a few blocks, and then someone finally like figured out that she lost. And, yeah, and called me, and then yeah, it happened, and then they posted it on whatever everything you know online, and you know, dog gets on bus, refuses to leave, and all this <laughs> stuff. You know, that was a story. That it's was a, like a it's story. A news story. Yeah, it was like a, on on Reddit or something uh -huh. like that. Yeah, but then yeah, she got back, she, and then and then a, a a cop picked her up and. Shot her, her over. <laughs> Shot her. Yeah, <laughs> threw her under the bus and tased her. <laughs> But anyway, well, we still love our, alive. we love our we support our police. The we, uh, LAPD is one of the finest organizations. That's right. The, I, but uh, in this they case, need more, yes, more uh, helicopters. A, Let's get some more of those out there. Oh right. So then, uh, luckily, I did. I went down thinking Vic's going to be a mess the rest oh, yeah. of the tour, and then uh, uh, came back from the Q and A, and all was well. It's so. all fine. So thank you, God. Until another day when Rosie uh, eventually <laughs> leaves. <laughs> exactly. And never comes. Now, back. Matt, can I please have another Zoomer? Or a hotliner. Absolutely. We got Phil mm. Braun. Mm. Hey, guys. How's it going? I don't know if I have the patience for Phil, but let's see where this goes. <laughs> Hi, Phil. Uh, didn't, hey, good to see you guys. Welcome back, Phil. everybody. Hi, Phil. Hi, Phil. Didn't, really, uh, didn't know you guys were uh, were gone, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get... You didn't hear the word that... Never... I never heard a thing about oh. it, so uh, pretty, pretty cool, and... Uh, uh, but now that I know that, um, I got, uh, some interesting news recently because I, uh, I guess you guys went to England, uh, over there. Did yep. you go see, uh, any of the famous, famous Beatles sites and, uh, things while you were there? Well, we were in Liverpool for a day and, uh, went down to where the cavern was or no. cavern is and that's really all there is. I mean, you could, uh, right. we could have done a more extended tour of. Strawberry Fields and Penny Lane, but we just sure. uh, we took the the Mercy Ferry. That was nice. It was a nice. Oh thing. yeah, that was cool. We saw some Beatles statues. Yeah, I saw the Beatles statue. Well, it's funny. Uh, you remember the uh, the Beatles uh, lost uh, recordings that I had found um, about a year or two ago. I don't sure. Remember yes, how long that was, was breaking news in the Beatle world. Right. Uh, well, it turns out. I Turned the uh, the tape over to the other side, and there was actually more. Oh, uh, on the <laughs> you didn't flip the tape the first time. Yeah, I flipped, <laughs> I flipped the tape, and there was some stuff uh, about. Um, I guess when they were at Abbey Road recording that album. Uh huh. And uh, I tape. could play uh, some of that. Yeah, yeah, for sure, play it. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> hang on, let me get my I get my th my tape out. Hey, Paul, who's that over there? Boy, that's Alan Parsons. He's our assistant engineer. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say he's working on kind of an Alan Parsons project, wouldn't you? <laughs> 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 
Well, <laughs> well that, that, you that, know, that, y'all know Alan Parsons. That's, that's, that, that's a little weird because he was, uh, it sounds like, uh, if the chronology is correct, that he was working on a Beatles project. Alan Parsons was the assistant engineer, yeah. it turns mm. out. Right, so I don't know why Wait, Paul so were they, Yeah, were they making the joke about his <clears throat> band, which probably wasn't even out by well, then? Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's the yeah, question ooh. I have, is why... Or uh, was that the genesis of what, what he called his band that name? Thank you, John. Yeah. Why he must you... have overheard that and then and named his band uh, the Alan Parsons Project, is what I would guess is what happened uh-huh. after that. But it was a Beatles project he was working on, so I'm not sure I understand why John or Paul yeah. would have made that remark. Hmm. But anyway, any other? Well, it's for, for history to know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I got a couple other clips uh, that I pulled out from that tape, too. Um. Hey, John, why don't we make Abbey Road kind of like a prog rock sounding album? You know, like that band Rush. <laughs> I kind of like that Getty Lee, you know. Yeah. Put some synthesizers in it. Yeah. <laughs> John clearly agreed. Yeah, uh, he liked the uh, he liked the idea. <laughs> no, to make that, like a rush. <laughs> yeah, when rush did rush? Album. When did rush form? Uh, they must have been around during the time of the uh, recordings. Uh, right. When was it? Six sixty nine or so? I'm sure yeah. they. Uh, I'm Summer sure they 69. were a band. Yeah. Uh, here's a. Uh, hey, Paul, we're about to cross over Abbey Road. You better put your shoes on. It's rather hot out there. The asphalt might burn you. Well, I don't mind being barefoot. I don't care if it's hot or it burns my feet. What about Linda? She's going to burn her foot. (laughs) She'll be just fine, John. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but I don't want her hopping around complaining about her burned foot. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then the conversation ends. <clears throat> yeah, the conversation just kind of stopped because you know they weren't uh, they weren't getting along very well yeah, at the time. I know. So I'm sure there are conversations, and in fact, this is the most maybe the speaking of their problems. Uh, this may be this clip here the most uh, interesting one of all. Well, they've all been interesting. Hey, George, you know Paul's getting kind of difficult lately. Won't play on many of me. Especially doesn't like Maxwell Silver Hammer. I'm thinking maybe you get underneath his car and cut his brake lines. <laughs> Make him and Yoko have a car crash or something. What? That's well, interesting. Cause, wow. Yeah, George. Why would George and Yoko be in a car together? No, he told George to get under his car, uh, John's car. Oh. And uh, they did. John and Yoko did subsequently have a car crash. That is true. Uh, yes, there was done. a car crash up in Scotland, I believe. Uh, so that news never ever came out. Uh, which is really we don't have shocking. we don't have evidence that they actually went through with that plan. We just have uh, this tape that. Well, there's that, new evidence I mean, that they caused like, that crash. Apparently, no. Yeah, that's okay. St- the Statue of Limitations. I think they though, did. Probably. Well, George is yeah. dead. <laughs> well, yeah, John's dead, and so the the main uh, characters are not uh, around to be prosecuted. Yeah, you can't there, arrest so. dead people. Uh, All right, true. Well, well, thank you so, for this uh, this exclusive. I'll get Mark Lewison to call in to confirm. He's the Beatles scholar. Absolutely. And, uh, um, but uh, good talking to you guys, and uh, you know, I'm working on a new novel too, so that's going to be coming out down. All right, the road thanks, and, Phil. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome. It's going to be a uh, it's going to be a sequel to Tom Sawyer, and uh, oh. <laughs> looking forward to you guys seeing that. So. Isn't that Huckleberry Finn, or is that a different? It's not really a sequel, is it? What's the chronology? Wait, you mean the Rush song Tom Sawyer or the book? No, no, the Mark Twain novel Tom <laughs> Sawyer. I'm doing. Uh, now, do you like book. that book because it's like a Rush song, or what came first? Uh, it just, I don't know, probably where I got the idea, but my, my book's going to be called, uh, Tim Sawyer. It's about his cousin. <laughs> All right. Looking forward to reading it. Okay. Yeah. By the way, uh, thank you, Phil. Uh, you're welcome. I look forward to hearing right. about more about that book and if, 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 and when it will be published. Yeah. Um, will that book you, be turned into a moving picture? By the way, I got, Vic, well, Vic, when does that I coming out? 2112? <laughs> Vic had a uh, a real wonderful experience in London where he got to meet one of his heroes, Robert oh, yeah. Popper, yeah, friend was... of the show, Robert Popper. Very down to earth dude. Oh, he was a, a nice sweetheart, guy. man. I love Robert so much. Uh, but then Robert and I were talking, and he goes, "I got this book. I got to send you this book. I didn't bring it down here, Robert." Er. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should even. 
I don't know if he wants me to t to uh, read any of it or talk about it, but just just to wet your whistle, this book, one of these like self-published people, you know, like they kind of went out went out and wrote a book and put it on Amazon, and published it. It he's like w get ready for the uh, you know the worst m most insane book you've ever read by a mile, <laughs> and it delivers. I'll bring it down after the show. Yeah, for you bring it. Bring it. It is holy. Sh it's like. It's every page you feel like you're having a stroke reading it. Like, <laughs> sorry, Phil. Um, <laughs> but like the, 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 the tense changes, like you, it, it, you know, be go, go from past tense to present tense. Like one of those books where he doesn't have that much of a story, so it's filled with garbage details that oh, Hearsay. every page you could yeah. pick out and just bask in the badness. But thank you, Robert, for sending me that. And uh, all right, uh, what else? Oh, do we want to do Doug, Doug's new game? Well, yeah, we could do my game. It's it's kind of similar to Phil's. Well, not really, but <laughs> since we're playing audio clips, I have a little game we can play. Do we want to let a listener play along? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you might – basically, it's, it's – Anybody on the hotline? Here's the game. It's called Name That Croon. It's kind of like name that tune, but I have a cappella tracks. One of them is not a um, one of them's not an a cappella because it didn't exist. But mm -hmm. it's okay. uh, I'll play. Uh... Wait, hold on. Let's get a let's get a contestant. <clears throat> let's get it. Yeah, Lila, were you raising your hand before? You want to play? Huh? Yeah. All right. Lila's. L Lila's in. Lila's in. Oh, little Lila, oh, little Liza yeah. Jane. Tim, can you do a little? Oh, can you, can you sing a little Lila. jingle for "Name That Croon"? Name that croon. I want you to name that croon. Yes, it's so close to name that tune. We want you to name that croon. Okay, I'll start totally off by improvised. I'll start off by playing like one second, maybe, <laughs> and, and then shout it, if you can't get it, it wait. Let's say hi I don't to hear, our. I don't see the guest. Yeah, I don't hear the guest either. Listen. There we go. Hello. Lila. Hello. Lila, Hello. how you doing? You all right? Oh, wow. I'm doing all right, Tim. Yeah, thanks. Where are you from? I'm from Massachusetts. Oh yeah, <laughs> fucking Massachusetts. Oh. It looks like you're yeah. in the album cover for an album Skip Spence's album Or. <laughs> okay, well I don't get that fucking record <laughs> ass yeah. reference. It's in front of Doug? the table, right? <clears throat> She's from What's the that New BG England song Massachusetts. Uh, uh, and all hey, the lights Tim. went down in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. <laughs> You know, I was actually on Tim and Eric Night Live back in the day, and you thought I was a boy. You were? Because there were some, yes, because there were so many gentlemen calling into the show at that time. I think it was uh, expected, but now I love to see the diversity on the show. Did grow we over the years? Did we uh, have Collins on that show? You did. You I had Skype Collins, Skype. and you were like, "Oh, hello, young man." You've also met my sister and oh. done an interview with her, so we're a Who? family Who's, affair over here. That? My sister's name is Ricky. You did an interview for Fader Magazine with her a long time ago, and we told you then that we had chatted, and you went, oh, your parents must be very proud. Oh, yeah. Well, you must have been <laughs> we, quite young during that Tim and Eric Night Live segment. Oh, I was a little, yeah, I don't know, early 20s. And look at yeah, this. You I've know, been, the years go by, and the fans stick with me, and are just, uh, it's nice to see everybody over all these years. The days go on. Absolutely. Uh, Grown up with you, Tim. Grown change. up with you, and we love you. You're By the way, let me just take a Lila, thank you, Lila. Let me just take a second, and since we were talking about Massachusetts by the Bee Gees, there's this clip that's go that has been going around of the Bee Gees doing it on the Johnny Carson show. Have you ever mm -hmm. seen that? Mm -hmm. Matt, it might be worth looking it up. Because I, that's like, I, that might be my favorite Bee Gees song, to be honest with you. It's so pretty. Mm. Um, I'm, and I'm not a really big Bee Gees fan. That's, so let's just get that out of the way. Wait, what's this Bee Gees on Carson? Yeah, doing Massachusetts. Oh, doing this song. Well, that's a, that's they do a it ding like, fest, but we could play a second. Oh, okay. Well, I, you can almost do it without the sound. Because what's funny about it, or fascinating about it, is the third brother. What's the third brother's name? Maurice. Maurice. He doesn't have much to do during because uh, uh, Barry's playing the guitar. Third one. 
Who's the third one? Shemp. Robin, Robin, Maurice, and uh, yeah, Shemp. Yeah, the guy on the left. That's his song, right? Yeah, don't even play the sound because what happens is Maurice doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Maurice doesn't know what to do, and so he makes this decision to do a bit. Oh, no. And because he only comes in during the chorus uh, for a nice, beautiful three-part harmony. And he gets bored, and he sabotages everything for the band, for, for the brothers. So right now he's fine, but if you scroll through, he starts doing this like fake yawning and looking at his watch. He looks like he's up to something. And he uh, thinks he's being really funny, but it's, it's a dick move by Maurice. <laughs> Maurice, come on, Maurice. Look at, he's like, oh, he's like, I don't know what to do. Look, there it is. <laughs> Fuck you. How about you just let the song be what it is? And it's okay. Oh, look, you he's singing to, there. Yeah. Yeah, he sings, and then his joke is like, once he's done singing the chorus, he goes back to being bored and waiting for, yep, there he goes, <laughs> fuck you. Wait, do, it's his song? Did you say he wrote it? No, no, it's a, I don't know. Barry oh. Gibb probably wrote it. But look at, and he's looking at his brother, and I just feel bad for, for Robin, because he's like, you know what, man? I'm on The Tonight Show. Yeah. That, oh. The fucking watch. And it's not funny. It's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's sitting there like a jackass. What's he supposed to do, though? Well, just chill. Like, don't do a fake yawn, Maurice. You cunt. How about you let your brother just have a beautiful moment on national television? <laughs> Lila. Look, he's trying. He's looking over to Johnny, and no one, no one's helping him out. No one's like enjoying the bit. Huh. Even he's not that sold on it. All right, thank you. That bugged the shit out of me. Lila, what's your thoughts on that? Lila, you're muted. You're muted. I was hoping to get first reactions, and now it's going to be stunted. <laughs> All right, stop. <laughs> I'm Buck's insane tackling uh, in binaural audio. I'm yeah. losing my goddamn mind. Yeah. Oh, it feels good. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Look at her. No. no. Is that mine? Are you on that? Team Robin? Mine's not going anymore. I'm out. Are you on Team Robin or are you on Team Maurice? Oh, my God. I'm on team You have a delay Maurice. going forever. You have yeah. to just You're on team Maurice. You think that was a funny yeah. bit? You think that was appropriate? Yeah, I do. I like funny bits. I like to have fun. I like Yeah, I like funny bits too. That's not a good example of a funny bit. That's uh. disrespectful to Robin Gibb. Well, Tim, I <laughs> Tim, when it comes to candy, I bet your team Maurice is pieces. Ooh. That's true. All right, let's play this <laughs> goddamn game. Let's croon, goons. People wake Look at up. Lila. She's a great guest. She's ready, yeah. Thanks, I'm ready. Love I like her impression of our. Uh, I know <laughs> that's what everyone's doing. It's really it. funny. Okay, let, listen up, guys. This I'll and play gals. a second of a All song. Right. Let's not keep Thanks, misgendering Tim. Lila twenty we, years later. We just shout it yeah, out. Yeah, man, when, come when on. We know it, right? <clears throat> just shout it out loud, right? When the lights yeah, we'll just go shout it out. But I bet Lila might be on a kind of a delay, so I don't know. All right, here we All go. Right. First okay. one. Oh, no, right. First croon. Living in a land down under. Yes. Nope. Colin, it's not O. Living it in. Okay, listen Babe. up. Here we go. Oh. Baby. 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 Fix on it. Baby. 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 Hollow notes. Oh, no, it's Seal. It's Seal. Vic got oh, it. Seal. Okay. Seal. Kiss, Vic got kiss. it. Baby. I, I can pay you to a kiss. Oh, okay, from one point for the artist, two points for the title, but I'm Layla great. got the title. Shit. So they okay. split. So maybe one she gets one. a point. I like this game, yeah. You get extra points if you want. What's okay. the gray? I've um, always wondered. It's by a dove on the gray. Here we go. So. Oh. Wow. So. Um. Some of these aren't exactly in your wheelhouse. Like you know, right. seals probably not. But one more time. So. I go longer if you Shit. can't get it. I'll go longer. Just slightly longer. So slightly longer. Oh, stop, Lila! Stop. You just so messed up. Oh, I don't know this. Mick. No. Oh, I know this one. Matt, you're not playing. So messed up. I want you here. 
Oh, it's, it's oh. Iggy Pop. Oh. Yeah, Pop, I want to be your dog. Yeah. Okay, Vic got it. Well, he got the artist not right, though. Oh, it's the uh, Stooges. That's, okay. Well, we'll have to give it to him. All He's right. the singer of it, I guess. Hey, I'm a victim of circumstance. <laughs> <laughs> Three <laughs> points for Vic total. <laughs> Here's a backwards one, because it might be too simple to get it forwards. <laughs> oh, I, I'm the Eggman. Nope. Bob Dylan. Oh, yep. shit. Bob Dylan, yeah. It's, uh, can I hear it again? I'll tell you what it is. I got you. I got you, Bob Dylan. It's the one with the cards. Wait. One more time. Six, uh, 16th Street Breakdown, or what, no. what the hell's the name of them? One is it word? Masters of War? I, I'll play it. I'll play one. The one okay. with, no, I'll get forward. It. Ready? Okay. <laughs> What? Once upon a time, you dressed so oh, fine, threw the bumps of dime in your prime like a rolling stone. <laughs> oh, okay, Tim got it. Nicely done. Oh, I got a great Tim, funny Tim, you probably little, wrote that song, didn't you? I got a great funny little Lila, clip. what kind of music do you like? What genre? Ah, oh, come on. I like it all. I'm a fan of music. I like it all. <laughs> okay. I don't know. What do you say to that, well, Doug? I, well, it's a hard question. Well, I'm trying to... I have a lot here. I could give you something to give you a point. Here we oh, go. no. I want to play... I want to play... I want to try and croon with the goon. I love I All right, one more guess. I mean, one more, uh, one, two more of these, please. I got a lot of these. YMCA. Uh, Backstreet Boys, I want it that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. let's, no, there's a couple interesting ones here. Check this one out. There's a way. Uh, that's Space Hog. Um, oh, so. Do, 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 the mean in the meantime. No, no, no. Sure. Never there. Lovely. I feel right now. Oh, is it Soundgarden? Oh, I'll give you a hint. Massachusetts. Green Day? It's Pixies. Right it's Pixies. Now. Oh, no, it's, um, uh, uh, the hell's the name of it? Jay Dinosaur Jr. Right Jay Maskus. He's Jay my neighbor. You got it. Your neighbor? Oh, Can I you know go where, ask him then if I know where you live. Lila? Did I know you exactly know where, where you live. Wow. Amherst. There's a way I feel Western right Mass, there baby. Yep. Doug, did that point two points to Lila? Is that did she get that or did Vic? Vic got no, it. No, well, I didn't I, get I split it. it. I didn't. I didn't get to name the song. I have an aptitude for music. <laughs> How about this one? <laughs> this was kind of different. It was twenty years ago today. Oh, Bill Cosby, <laughs> Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> That's awesome. Right away. He's also my neighbor. He lives oh. out here. No. Oh, no, <laughs> Matt. Way. I just want. To, I'm going to send you something, Matt. Uh, that's from that's from his uh, kind of old news. But. Here's another one. Ready? Somebody's. That's Anthony Kiedis for Red Hot Chili Peppers. Wrong. Shit. <gasps> no, Lila, you can get it. Somebody's high. Oh, I got it. Weezer. Yeah. Uh, Say and so. Very nice wow. one. It is too good. I can't. No one good. can. No one can, no one can, can compete with that. Tim out. just checked this out. I was going to say, so Tim fun. Like, I, I Okay, said, let me do one more. Let check this one out, Lila. Lila, check if you can get this one. Holy shit. I ran my mouth off a of pit. Oh, that's uh, Modest Mouth. Oh, that's a pixie. Float on. Right? Float on. No, Float on. Mouth. Vic got it. Wow. Oh my God. Sorry, guys. Who knows fucking Modest Mouse by the listening? Vic Berger does. Wow. You know, I know all you know songs. all of it. I mean, this is like I know them all, impossible. but not from one second. My brain is dumb like that. I can't answer it. Like that's how nerds get you. They're like, you didn't know it within 0.5 seconds. You're <laughs> okay, stupid. <check. laughs> how about this one? If I if I leave here tomorrow, Ooh, Leonard Skinner. Very nice. Uh, uh, Freebird. You got it. Very okay, good. here's one more. Freebird. Another one. Um. Another. I want to say it's Queen. Another sub. Another submarine. <laughs> Another That's the Beatles suburban. song, Another Submarine. <laughs> You'll get it at that note. Listen. Another Suburban. Oh, I, I know this one, too. <laughs> trying to pick what era, era it is. I don't know any 90s. of this shit. Another Suburban. <laughs> 80s. Is it, uh, is it Peter Cetera? Uh, no. Another Suburban Family Mart. Oh, my God. Sting. It's the police. Oh, the police. It's, uh, King of Pain. Can you show this clip I sent? That's a good one. Synchronicity. Nice one. Do you believe the Sting sweater stories? Oh my God! This is what was about the setup. What are we looking at here, T? So this is just—it's a a great concert. It's it's Bob with the Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers as his band. Oh yeah. And just but I just clipped this out. This little the 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 phrasing choices he makes, or just sort of like the. It's just so strange because it's like a Rolling Stone. It's just a little 20 second clip of it. Ready? Right right. Mr. 
Good one. And your head, you're gonna get used to it. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> you know what I love too is Bob was like I feeling. Ran my mouth <laughs> off the pits. Bob, Bob was apparently feeling very threatened by Bruce Springsteen at this period, oh. like in the early '80s, and so he's like, "I'm gonna get ripped, and I'm gonna wear a leather vest." <laughs> well, come on! <laughs> I'm gonna be American icon. I'm gonna be a working class hero. Did you guys get this one? And it's an outrage. Oh my god. L. Ron Hubbard. <laughs> Thank you wow. for listening. Looks good. Jeez. All right, Lila. Vic wins with 15 points. Holy shit. Tim and second right, with four, Lila. Quick speed run. Ready? If you like to. <laughs> oh, that's uh, if you like that's Motorhead. Oh wow! That's, uh, Holy shit! What the hell's Jeez, the name of it? Amazing! Finally found something good. Uh, <laughs> Vic's good at. Come, Come on! on. Oh, oh, Jelly, I'm your man. You that. win some, lose some, but you lose some to me. That's that Ace of Spades or yeah, uh, Ace of Spades? Yeah. Okay, one more. Oh, that's uh, that's, well, uh Fuga. I mean, uh, what's it called? The that's Misfits. Danzig. Tim got it. Tim got it. Oh, yeah. See, yeah, I yeah. know stuff. I'm, I'm smart. Something to say. Not like everybody says. I killed the baby today. Much to me as long as he's dead. He's a crew. I got something to say. I was cool expecting like more traditional definition of crooning. Yeah, I know, but I. Listen, that's it's fine, but Tim so, came up with the title, so these are crooners. These are crooners, yeah. That, we don't want to call no. name that tune. Yeah. So He's it's definitely a, fun... a crooner. Not all these are no, crooners. Yeah. How about this? Okay, name one more. Croon. Just because I grabbed it, check this out. Captain Pierce is a fireman. Oh, that's a classic. Wait, what? Matt knows what? it right away. <laughs> Captain Pierce is a fireman. Richmond engine number three. I'll be oh, right Primus. <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> we're known as or uh, my name is Mud. Almost. Stuck in his crawl that made him retire at the age of 65. All right. What are we doing? <laughs> which, which one is that? Jerry, Jerry was a race car driver. Jerry was a race Congrats, car Congrats, Vic. Right. All right. Vic, 18, you win a mug. Whew. Here you go, Vic. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, you got a trophy. Oh, I got a trophy. <laughs> oh, look at that. Thank you, guys. Everybody gets a trophy. That's good. Everybody gets a trophy. <laughs> Hey, All right, folks. Uh, well, let's take. Thank you, Lila. You're a pleasure to have on the show. Yes. Love that energy. Um, let's take one more call and then we'll take a little breaky here. Ooh, a breaky? I don't like this. Nah, yeah, where are we? <laughs> By the way, what's going on here? A little promo here because I uh, proudly have to say we uh, absolutely uh, production company produced the new. You know, I love him, John Early. Uh, his uh, his special coming to HBO. Oh. Holy moly, this stuff. Um, this is a beautiful thing. This is wow. an, hour of, an hour of beauty from John. And boy, there it is up there in the front. Executive producer, Tim Heidecker. Wow, there, very good. But um, I don't know when that's coming out, but soon. And as an executive producer, what did you do? <laughs> established a brand over many years that is responsible for originality content that uh and in, did you ever see the product is that an executive suite you know what <laughs> that's being honest i'll tell you we do the, to be as an adult oh, the company's respected by artists and how did that respect how was that respect created through years and years of the hard work that knock, 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 Dave, eric and i put into the company knock, 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 so when john's looking for a place to do the show and help put the show together he knows where to go so that's what I. That's how I contributed. I'm not gonna muck a muck into his into his special. I'm not gonna be like do this, do that. Absolutely. Leave me out of that part of the process. All right. Check in on the hotline real quick. Oh, that would be lovely. Seven two zero. You're live on the air on the hotline. Yes, Tim. Now quiet from the uh, goon gallery hey. back there. So I can hear the damn guy. <laughs> Why are my drops so boys, how You we have doing? a mega echo going. Matt, Who's there, you boy? son of a bitch? Where are you calling from? <laughs> like I know the area code. Boys, right? how we doing? It's, it's Mountain Boy. You remember me? Yeah, Mountain Hello, Boy. Hello, everybody. What's going on, Mountain Boy? I what prefer mountain Cave Boy. Boy. From? Yeah, where's that? Checking in on you guys. How's the uh, how's the trip in Europe going? I hear you guys are in you're in uh, 
Spain, you're in Norway, you're in Italy. How's the trip over there? We're back in Glendale now, friend. Why don't you catch up? You guys are back already? Yeah, where do you think I am? Are you watching the show? Of course you I'm watching the show. You, you guys not, not doing this through the, through the cloud? I thought you guys were doing this through the cloud. Oh, no, no. From, no. Uh, from Italy. This no. guy's in the clouds. Yeah, you're in the clouds, man. You're in clouds of... of of pot 420 smoke. dust. <laughs> He's a week early for 420, this guy. But let me say, to answer your question in the past tense, uh, I want to send sincere thanks and love and appreciation to everybody that came out to the Two Tims tour in Smoke weed. UK and Europe. And people get on my case for saying UK and Europe. And I get it. It's confusing. But I'll just say Europe. They but Brexited. They Brexited. So you know what? You're not in Europe right, anymore. Right, right, right. Right. Dolly. I don't know. And people go to me, uh, how was it? Was it different? Was it, uh, were the crowds different? I go, to be honest with you, no. I could have, it looked like I was playing for Chicago everywhere I went. Like, same cool kids, couple of old. This is like Woke Central. <laughs> and it was, uh, <laughs> they got all the jokes. The Brits got the jokes more than the Americans did. They were right on top. And people were singing along and dancing and, and just thunderous applause at different points of the show. A cunt. And the good news is we all came back still very close as a, as a unit, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, There's no, not closer. There was no discord uh, that there would have been if it was an Office Hours tour. Fucking <laughs> cunt! <laughs> <laughs> Why would there be Discord as an office hours? Because we're on Discord now. Oh, yes. Oh. No. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Doug, of course. I'm just looking for laughs wherever I can find them. But <laughs> you're... I don't, know, I don't know how to stop it. But we're... Uh, it's yes. The burn is just going the, back and forth. The BPM is set to like 10. The good news is we don't... I don't want to hear about the fucking BPMs. TBS. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I think I got it working now. <laughs> Everybody came back ha uh, happy and healthy. Yeah. And uh, nobody got hurt. Yeah. No major damage to anybody. Yeah. No. Tim is like, he made sure we were well, okay. We he got it. us a, a nice massage. A a massage. Anyone break any strings? Well, let me get back I to did. you on the I massage did. because I have an update on the massage. The massage. <laughs> Where's those massage drops? Yes, I did provide a massage for the gang in Dublin. An Irish massage. Yes. You ever have an Irish massage? <laughs> they use Irish spring soap. They carve a little bit off. Massages. Remember, Robin Doug, when they used to carve massage. a little bit off? I love the yeah. I love the He carving. cut like a fresh slice uh -huh. out of that soap. It's, it's that's how best. you can smell it a little. Yeah, you sniff it. <laughs> why couldn't you just smell the soap? Yeah, I don't There's know why no you had to cut a little slice out of it. A little bit off. It doesn't change anything. So you got a shallow tissue Irish massage. <laughs> I got a Guinness, uh, Guinness infused. Irish <laughs> they, massage. they pour a little fresh Guinness on your back and then yeah. kind of work in it with some Irish spring. I have to say the Guinness tastes exactly the same there. Doesn't everyone was always telling me like, yeah, you, it tastes you like go shit. to Dublin. Yeah. It's just fine. I don't like fucking Guinness. You don't they wait. Keep you it don't, at, they keep it at no. the right temperature, which maybe is that's warmer is. than an ice cold beer. That yeah. Like maybe that. it's that, but all right. We're going to take a break. Uh, Matt, what do people need to know about the, this, this break? And we're doing we're moving, hours. we're moving channels. So you gotta go to youtube.com slash office hours live. I let Matt speak. <laughs> Jesus, I, I just this ignore is important it. I don't information. Mind. You gotta go to office uh, youtube.com slash office hours live right now. Everybody who subscribes to that channel doesn't cost you a thing. You'll get the full show this week for replays. Just subscribe, and you can watch it live. Head over there now. But we people, still love you, too. Uh, but, uh, people. people can also go to patreon.com slash office hours live. That's the better deal. That's what you really got to do. Um, all right. Back in five, ladies and gentlemen, with more of the Trinity getting, on, uh, getting under each other's skin. <laughs> more tales, uh, more stories of massage. <laughs> I have a big reveal coming regarding massage. <laughs> Massage in the direction from top to bottom. Massage. 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 Massage.
over on the tip of the tongue I feel in the distance another existence I think I have been here before And I think you were sitting beside me In a fold in the face of the fair But time and its work will go round in a circle And what is befalling be found I, for the record, had no urine to dispose of. That that pretty, pretty cool, Tim. Yeah. yeah even after two <laughs> cups of coffee. Wow. And a lot of people are talking about it now. <laughs> Just strong Kegel muscles. Thirteen. Um, does, did you want to bring somebody into the Zoom room that you were, in, that you were enjoying? Somebody said? What? Overheard. Is there somebody in the Zoom room that you wanted to Oh, I didn't. I feature? don't know. I think they're all. Oh, you want. Uh, let's oh. say hi to Brian Benelli. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we have massage news too, but let's. Oh, right, like, the massage. Brian Bonelli, by the way, another perk of the Patreon, uh, put together a really fantastic show, Brian, uh, that I'm enjoying. It's 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 the kind of YouTube experience I like. It's it, educational tutorial. This massage business is legitimate. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what. It's a great way to learn, and it's an entertaining show as well. So, Brian, thank you for your contribution. And also to Sarah uh, Reeds, and uh, who else is on the show? Ellie Haydu. Say that again? Ellie's on? Ellie Haydu and Ashley Brown. The best. The, the, the fab four of the <laughs> art world. So check that out on Patreon. Dot com and, slash wait, can, can you, Brian, can you quick explain what it is? I just... Well, no, but no, I want to hear from him. Oh, hi. Well, yes. So he's got um, that there. there. It's called The Art Show, and it's a show where um, artists from the Office Hours Live community, Sarah Reeds, Ellie Haydu, Ashley Brown, myself, we, um, we all draw the same picture of Art Garfunkel, and we describe our methods, and we go step by step. And it's um, it's for everybody, uh, people of all ages, all skill levels. Um, you don't have to be a great artist to follow along. Uh, you, and uh, the whole point is, um, anyone can draw. You just it's just a, um, a skill you need to work on, and you can learn it. That's it. Yes. And <laughs> I yes, I, I yes. real quick. I, I like that you're uh, you you recommended the drawing from the right side of the brain book a while ago. Now that's kind of how you yeah. got started recently, right? Yes. Yeah, it's a terrific book. It really um the the key to like learning how to make a likeness, it's it it's fairly simple. It's you're you're just trying you're you're drawing, you have to learn to draw what you see, not what you think you see. Mm-hmm. And that sounds a little bizarre, but there are ways you can kind of trick your brain into being able to to draw something to make it look like what it actually is. Right. In a nutshell, that's what the can book I, covers. I, I I bought that book and I learned from it to start drawing things backwards, like upside down. Right. And then you're not like your brain isn't trying to make faces and register what you're oh, what you think neat. you're seeing. So you just kind of draw it as an object, and then it looks a little clo- like a lot more closer than to like the actual thing. Now right. why? Yeah, now, my question is, why do we draw? Because now we have iPhones, and of course we've had cameras and video cameras for many years. That's and a good question. That's a very good question. If you wanted to capture something that you see and remember it, then you just simply take a picture of it. Oh, well, uh, I just think art, just artistic expression is just mm. such a, a wonderful thing. But can't like, you do um, that with music and... Um, it's just one of the many ways you can. Interesting. Yeah, um, I guess. Yeah. Because if there's not a pencil in that hand, that hand might be doing something different. Oh. Right, Vic? Replace all the guns I don't know with what the you're pencils. talking about. I don't know what you're. Oof, oof. 
It might be grabbing <laughs> or shooting or something. You, you never know. know. Yeah. Well, Brian, it's a positive, congratulations. Uh, change. And thank you. Nice thank work you so putting much. that together. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to do this. It's it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot, and um, yeah, it's uh, on the Patreon. Um, and anyone could contact me on social media if they have any questions or they need any like artistic advice or anything. And um, that's all I have to say. One Just more question. Do- one more question. <laughs> so <you>, Colombo? No. <laughs> Just one more thing. Now, if if I wanted to join if, and and paint along, if people want to paint along. Can other people see what I've painted? You know what I mean. Like, is it wow. is it one of those community things where you come together and, oh, can and you s- submit their can you submit your work so right. everybody else can see what you did? Yes, at the beginning of each uh, episode, I do show off um, any um, any drawings of Art Garfunkel that people have sent me or tag me in on social media. So yeah, the the link to the image is um, in the description of the episode. It's uh, not the most flattering picture of art, but it's a pretty good one. <laughs> it's, it's sort of a really good. mean article about it, too. <laughs> oh, no. I wonder how art's dealing with the new Paul Simon news, that Paul Simon has a big new album coming out. And uh, I, I watched the trailer for it. He's got It like, seems like they're making a whole movie about the making of this new Paul Simon album, which I am there for. Hmm. I'm there to see how Paul works in the studio. and uh, Poor Art is probably very upset. <laughs> It would have been, I believe the record would do much better with the dulcet tones of my voice. Don't you think, Brian? Let's move ahead more light footed. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very similar. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's one of my sounds. So, uh, on, t- thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. On, thank you, Brian. As I've, as I've, uh, kvetched, Matt, is that fair enough to say? Kvetched? Indeed about uh, my uh, various shoulder neck ailments over the past several months. I've had sort of nothing, I would say nothing debilitating, but sort of a nah, was- general stiffness, soreness, some, some, int- some sort of, you know, direct pain. How's uh, that thing on your neck? For many months. Uh, and it, it, it's exasperated by, by s- sitting in coach Feet on airplanes <laughs> and uh, and playing guitar uh, with a guitar around my neck. All these things kind of irritate and, and inflame the areas. And I've tried lots of things, stretching techniques, and uh, and frankly, what works is a couple of Advil. You know what I mean? Aww. But uh, by the time we got to Dublin, about halfway through the tour, I was like, you know, maybe we could uh, I could pay for a masseuse to come and uh, give. Give, every, give me and then everybody else a, not then everybody else, but uh, <laughs> give everybody like a 20 minute job on the back. And so this woman came and she was fantastic, folks. Oh, wow. She really worked us. But as she's doing me, she's like, hey, you know, this, I need an I need a full hour with you. This is, you're, this is nuts back here. Oh, you're out of right. whack, man. And uh, she goes, when you get back to LA, uh, go find a sports massage person. I mean, not one of these, uh, you know, f- relaxing uh, spa day situations, like a oh, real Jesus. sort of physical therapist style massage person. Oh, my goodness me. So I went, <laughs> I found a place and I went yesterday and got worked. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm telling you. I got worked so hard. And then she was like, Have you ever done cupping? And uh, Doug, you got anything for that pun or anything? Like, yeah, you mm-hmm. wore a jockstrap a couple, a couple times. Uh, I go, no, I'm up for anything, man. You know, like give it, give me whatever you think's gonna work. So people know this, and now I'm suddenly fucking Joe Rogan now because I did the, the, the cold plunge in Norway. It was a fantastic, <laughs> frightening, inspiring experience. But now I did this cupping, and this is gonna be a, a trigger warning here. I don't read trigger warning, but this is uh, this is post cupping la- yesterday as I got home and and I said, <laughs> "How warning. does my back look, hon?" To my wife and kids, and I take my shirt off, and Matt, do we have the picture? Oh yeah. Ah. <laughs> look at that. That's no Photoshop. That's my cup. <laughs> you went with the venti. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that horrifying? I don't feel real any pain or anything. It's but do you feel sore. any different? Oh, my back I mean, feels great. But that, couldn't that have been just the massage? Could have been. 
I mean, that's like, to me, that looks like like leeching. You know, it's like the same kind of deal. Yeah, yeah. bringing gonna... like the capillaries. And... But well, well this was an, acc- an accredited uh, insta- uh, place that right. I went to, so I, I'm... So why know. didn't she keep going down lower, though? Because it was focused on my upper back. Oh. Uh, all right. That's me. That's probably what I look Pretty like cool. now. Maybe worse. Maybe <laughs> it's all blur- like purple now. I want to get my butt cupped. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Somebody, uh, right, I just right, noticed I'll, somebody bring, I'll bring the photos in right next on the week. Hole. What about uh, Matt, Andrea and Tim's Tic Tac? Who's, what's that about? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Man. She has a little show and tell, I believe. Yeah, I, that's nice. all I have. Can you hear me, though? Yes, where are you calling from? Um, I'm calling from Bonn, Germany, not far from Amsterdam. <laughs> where I, bon Jovi? I <laughs> No, no, Bonn, B-O-N-N, Germany. This is a, what an international show. So you yeah. you must have been at the Amsterdam <laughs> show. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, and I found the, the Tic Tac. Yes. Oh. One of it. the, uh, spoiler alert, one of the highlights of the stand-up set is, uh, is a distribution of Tic Tacs. Yeah, no, I, I found it on the floor on top of a towel. I don't know, I, oh. I didn't catch it. But I, 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 I secured one. Yeah. All right. Um, well, there you got a nice memento. Not a mento. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, exactly. No, it's 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 really nice. It's a bit gray because I put it in a pill box. So I need to preserve it so it doesn't go black. I don't know. Don't mix but, it up with your ecstasy pills at your German nightclub. No, take. it was well. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Did you it, enjoy it was, the show? I did, yeah. You know, I wanted to meet you guys after the show, but my husband didn't want to. He was like, I don't want to meet my heroes. I don't know. He didn't want to meet you. I wish more people were like that. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Oh, you want to meet me? You come to that VIP experience before the show, and that's the way you do it. I'm not. Yeah, we wouldn't even have. Uh, yeah, we, we we wouldn't have made it anyway because the the German train got delayed. So oh, we kind of. I thought these Germans were good at the trains. Oh. Yeah, I know. No, no, I've been living here for three years, and the past <laughs> two years here has been horrible. Um, yeah. Well, Vic, just, that just that that uh, that that transitions nicely into my <laughs> little uh, Vic tale from the road. Now I mm. must say this: Vic was a very good boy on this European mm-hmm. tour. He was a he had a Kept my very well about behaved, me. very uh, happy, boy, happy boy. Didn't get sick. Didn't, no, no uh, vomiting or anything. He was uh, no vomiting, no yeah. cherries, no nothing. He's a little um, corny boy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, How did you travel around what? train. How did you travel around? Well, in England, we had a couple of vans, a couple of uh, sprinter van and, a, and an equipment van. And then once we hit uh, Ireland, we were flying from city to city on my. So you had a lorry in England. Yeah, you, you should oh, maybe cool. try to offset your carbon emissions somehow. Yeah, I, I, there's a lot going on. I don't know how to do that, uh, and I apologize to yeah, the world. Yeah, I, I, I don't know either. I don't know either. But you should maybe look into it. Have your have your team look into it. Train? Offsetting the, the talking about trains. No, she wants me to offset my carbon emissions for all the travel. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Just, just say like. This is a carbon zero tour or something like and that. Just make you know, that, that up. Just say that. Just tell yeah. everybody. Just, yeah. just say that and then figure out how to actually make it carbon. Yeah. That's what all the companies are doing, as far as I know. So. Well, I can do is say under in very small print. Say we will do our best to make this very small print somehow, and then a carbon sometime. neutral tour. <laughs> do our, we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Yeah. The war on uh, yeah. carbon. <laughs> but. <laughs> Um, let me just get to this, the, the Vic, the, really the only Vic story, except for Rosie, that was a good one, but, uh, and it's not even much of a thing, but. You can tell the the whole thing or whatever. Vic, uh, at the, uh, kind of speaking to the idea of meeting people after the show. Vic. Vic is excited to go and meet the audience that sticks around. And I am not every more, night, not, not every night. night, but, uh, my inclination is to go back and rest my voice and catch my breath and recover a little bit and then help with the loadout um, and c- pack up all my stuff and, you know, just just chill a little bit. And then if there's still people out there at that point, I'm happy to say hi and take a picture and stuff. But Vic gets out there a little earlier than me and gets into the muck with everybody. <laughs> and in Amsterdam, it was our last night. Uh, we were we stayed a full extra day and night 
after that so we didn't have to kind of just rush out and leave without you know having a nice little day in Amsterdam so we had uh, we had this night after the show uh, that was you know let's go out and have a drink we're in Amsterdam it was been a tremendously fun tour with these guys and um, you know nothing wild let's just uh, go to a bar and have a and have a nightcap and Vic calls us. I don't know where you were, up in your room or something. Did I call you? Uh, yeah, you called and said, I got a plan. I've got, I met this guy. It's never good when I start with yeah, that. I, I met this guy after the show. He's got a bar called JD's Whiskey House. Yeah. And, and yes, and he loves everybody. He's a big fan. fan. He's going to spot your drinks. Gonna, he wants to buy yeah. everybody drinks. Yeah. And fan. Whiskey, huh? And I go, yeah. oh. Well, the hotel oh, bar wow. was closed, and I didn't want to like just start randomly searching for a place to go. I mean, there were a ton of places we could just kind of stroll into. Whiskey but I was like, in the gyro. <laughs> Vic, I don't want to just like, I don't want to walk into a scene where it's like a bunch of people that were at the show. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, I mean, I'm just being honest with you guys. Mm -hmm. Like, I I, okay. I appreciate it, and I appreciate people going but at the, this was I was like let's I would love to just have a drink with the seven of us the tour, the tour gang and uh and that that's where I felt most comfortable and and what I was looking forward to you didn't have the bandwidth huh you didn't have the bandwidth <laughs> <laughs> and so uh but I you know I'm a I'm a I'm a sucker for Vic you know I'm a, yeah. I want to I don't want to disappoint I want right. to I want to be a team player. We'll give and me a I, chance sometimes. Give me a, you know what? Maybe it's going to be. Throw fun. me a bone. So we go, all right, where is it? We find it. It's a 10 minute walk. We walk down to JD's Whiskey Bar. Is that what it was called? All right, JD's House or something. JD's Whiskey Bar. Whiskey Home. Fucking door. What is What am I going into? Jim Morrison's Hangout? <laughs> Show me the way. Show me the way to the next Whiskey Bar. <laughs> don't, oh, don't ask why. Oh, JD don't ask Williams. why. What? J.D. Williams Whiskey Yes, J.D. That... Williams <laughs> Whiskey House. Oh, that's it. J.D. Williams Whiskey House and Furniture that's, Store. I remember that. There it is. That's where we sat. Right yeah. There. Oh, good, good. This is a good... Uh, so we make it there. We walk in, and it's a nice place. It's a classy joint, like with a fancy Japanese whiskey and all that Drinks stuff. Drinks are very good. Very nice cocktail. But who awaits us but... <laughs> nobody but five or six... Young, college-age Americans who were at the show. <laughs> Americans? Yeah. There's so many Americans at Alicia's. And, America. and they had already kind of planned that we were going to... Show that picture of the seating. Oh, no. <laughs> we, were, we were shepherded in and uh, sat at this table where across from me... Sat, you know, You're not sitting those there. chairs. You're right there. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> nice That's where the chair. executive producer sit. And yeah, there. <laughs> I was there. sitting like mid table. Ellie was sitting next to me. I'm on the right. And then from, and then across from me are two people I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like don't know them. It stinks. They were. <laughs> and no disrespect to them. No, they were not, nice. Yeah. They were nice people. It's my fault. Living in America. And, <laughs> but it, and then Josh and Connor were like kind of stuck on the other end. Vic's on the other end. JP shows up. He's on the other end. They're like, and suddenly Ellie and I are across from these two people that I don't know. And Hallelujah. it's time to small talk <laughs> about. <laughs> Where they're from and where we're from and and like you know uh, kind of tortured uh, uh, and, and I'm being a Boy Scout you know I am being Mister Respectful. Yeah, where you guys a big from? Boy. Where are you from? Oh, Chicago. Where are you from? Okay. How's it? How do you like Amsterdam? Uh, and then this and that and telling me about <laughs> sweet what home doing. Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm, I'm, <laughs> hops about. I'm looking over at Vic, you mother. Yeah. I, 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 I had no I'm idea. I'll throw you in the going. canal, you son of a bitch. I was just enjoying the whiskey, the and, free whiskey. Oh, the free whiskey. Then we get to the next subject. Nothing's free, Vic. Nothing, Nothing is free. No such thing. Well, so then the then the night goes on, and and I settle in, and I, you know I'm I'm trying to kind of just talk to my gang and 
cross talking across tables and doing <laughs> doing weird Machiavellian moves to move people around. Like, oh, you're going to the bathroom? Mind if you scoot down? You know? <laughs> Whiskey in the gyro. <laughs> You know how it is, man. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. And I was good up until this point, right? You gotta admit. I wasn't too worried because we had the whole next day okay. and we were gonna have a dinner and it wasn't yeah. it wasn't like our last hurrah. Right. <clears throat> I was okay. I was just kind of right. like it was just funny. And but then I don't know what happens. There's like a couple rounds of drinks and every, it was a maybe like fifteen people at this table, yeah. half of which we we don't know who they are. But they're 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 not egregious, terrible people. They're just people we don't know. And mm -hmm. how often do you want to sit and talk to people you don't know? So after you can't a hard really be. The thing is, you can't really be yourself and talk. Yeah, I gotta like, watch it. I gotta kind of be. Mm, you can't be really little, talk like. You can't really let can't, it all hang out. Right. You can't let it all hang out. Right. Know? But um, you just make it up to a coffee shop instead. Yes. Well, no, that that wouldn't have been fun either. But <laughs> well, their coffee shops don't really have coffee. I know. Have. Right. But anyway, I was not uh, impressed the, by the coffee shops. Did you get some you. weed there? Did you I did. Amsterdam but like, Kush? Yeah, but everything's better in L.A. I swear to God. For, so we for get weed the so Vic somehow like gets hmm. set, gets uh, <laughs> handed the bill. Well, I I went up because like I was told that Wait, the drinks were covered or whatever, you know. And I went up. I was uh, earlier thinking this was JD. I was like, just yeah, yeah. put it all together, put it all together, and yeah. then and then you'll cover it or whatever. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And then I go up at the end. He goes, and I realize, oh, that's not JD. Right, JB, JD JD's does, at home sleeping. No, JD's nowhere to be. The found. big fan of Tim's missed the show. He's yeah. at home sleeping. So Bill, uh, Vic gets the bill for <laughs> over like, over three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Wait a second. But then there's another. I don't know. This is going round. on. Yeah. I don't know this is going on. There's another round of drinks that comes out, and I go to leave because I want to leave and get everybody out of there. Everybody wants to go. I'm not making anybody do anything. But uh, then I go, "Do we owe anything?" And the guy goes, "Yes. There's more more to pay." So I end up <laughs> buying, you know, another ninety dollars of drinks. Uh, on the bill to cover to to get us even. <laughs> JD was happy we were there though, and so Vic uh, yeah. set us into a trap, uh -huh. un wow. unwittingly. But it was fine. Yeah. It made for good content. I try my best. <laughs> the TV just. Went I have to explain my this. kids why they can't have food this month. Yeah, but that's okay. Um, I'll take a call. It's been a minute, as the kids say. Thank you for coming to the show. Yes, my thank friend. you. Uh, okay, hey, Andrea. Maybe next time. Right. This is, this is teaching our little kids. Fucking bricks. Uh, what the hell is that? Wait, what's you happening? If you don't like it, I would say you're at least central in an implicit sense to maps of meaning. And God. <laughs> uh, let's give Gussie Reese. Let's give Gussie Reese the floor, and then I need to have some computer stuff going on. I need to. Uh -oh. <laughs> what's yeah, going on here? My display just went wacky. Oh, man. I think that's what turned that on. Talk to Wes. Be right back. All right. Who am I talking to? Gussie? John Mute? Hi. You know, just seeing Matt's little body walk out onto the stage <laughs> and play the video. And Hi, Gussie. Like great angle out. you got there. <laughs> Thank you. Straight my turkey shopping. dinner? That's good. <laughs> what are, what are you? What am I? My mom's fan. ham? <laughs> <laughs> what am I? My mom's hungry. spiral cut ham that's not hot enough in the middle? <laughs> I'm calling from Australia, so it's about 4.30 here, so I have to go to bed soon, but I thought I'd call in. Cool. How can I help you today? Um, I want to know when you're coming back to Australia and you the tour. I uh, don't have an answer for you. I, I'd love to do it. I'd love to take the band down there, do the two Tims in Australia. Uh, I'm certainly on my to-do list. I don't have any news. I would think it wouldn't be this year. It might be some, maybe next year. We'll see how the cookie crumbles. What am I waiting for you? Huh? Also, I was going to say, I recorded an album with Mac to Mark. I wanted to know what it's like to work with Mac. I wanna you recorded an album with Mark, Mac to Marco? I did. He replaced 90% of my guitar tracks on the album we did, um, post it getting, you know, worked on, but wanted to know what it's like to work with him. Wait, didn't you work with him then? He was calling in from LA and recording oh. all the parts and oh, then replaced all my guitar oh, parts. Oh, that's cool. Wait, what band are you How in? do you do that? Um, a very low-key uh, indie pop rock band from Australia. Called? Time, but... Called? Yeah, plug away. 
oh, uh, we're, we're done now. We don't play anymore. Midnight we're Oil Jr. Little... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I, it was a, it was a, ple- it was a t- tremendously pleasant experience. So I went over to his place in uh, Echo Park and spent, it was a, around this time of year, beautiful out. We went in and, and worked pretty quickly. He's a tremendous talent musically and, uh, didn't know him that well and ended up, you know, hanging out and talking about our growing up and, you know, little sh- life experience, you know, just, just, uh, enjoyed the heck out of him. Wow. Yeah, he's a great guy from what I've come to know from him. But yeah, he recorded over all my parts, basically. So I had him for that. You're lucky for that. He's a great guitar player, great yeah. bass player. Yeah, and I'm not. <laughs> no. Well, what a what a gift he gave you. He and you did. should be yeah, forever thankful. I am. So what's going on here? <laughs> I'm actually quite good on bass. It's a whole I can play situation. Bass. I have a recording of your original track that he had to play over. Oh, let's hear that. <laughs> yeah, I love to hear it. Well, I hope he did a better job than that because it kind of sounded yeah, like I a rough. I told you not to play that, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me move along. <laughs> Four a.m., huh? You're you're up pretty late. Okay, bye, Gussie. Bye, Gussie. Bye, Gus. Bye, Gus. Go to sleep. Wow. <laughs> I tell you, the one thing I got to complain about is, and, and this isn't. Uh oh. This isn't <laughs> countrywide, but we were in uh, Brighton. Beautiful town of Brighton. What a town. Brighton by the, by the sea. Was it bright? Well, do you want to hear my joke? Because I'll never be able to tell this joke Yeah, again. let's hear it. I mean, this is low quality shit. <laughs> but I, but it, it worked in the context, of course, of uh, my delivery. But it was essentially, you know, ever since I was a kid, I had an aptitude for knowledge. Yeah. And I, you know, off kindergarten, first grade, I get the report cards. A, bing, right? Math, learning. Everything. It got so prevalent that you know the uh everybody at school just used to call me bright tim and here i am in bright tim <laughs> i got a laugh it's so it was so good that i did it in brighton and then was doing london the next night i was like i could still do this joke <laughs> yeah. i could just you know i could say i was say, just well, down by the sea night, i was just yeah <laughs> was down by the sea <laughs> beach resort and uh, who and laughed the biggest? Was it the English people? Because the Scandinavians, they don't really laugh. Yes, they're, they're a little too London cool was for massive. Sport. London was <laughs> crazy. Although I get up on the London stage and the theater, oh, right. I would not play this theater again. I apologize to everybody at the London show because uh, it was a venue that was uh, like sort of just like a, a hollowed out movie theater that they converted into was a, there live a stampede. Venue. Ugh. There could have been. I mean, it they was, were blocked. They it was, were, yeah. It was sardines in there. It was sold out, oversold, maybe. The pounding. That's what I heard. People were they were letting too some many people in. were le- some people were leaving oh. because it was too crowded. <sighs> that sounds like the Spinal Tap line. They were still I booing him when we walked on stage. <laughs> <laughs> but the Spinal Tap joke though is like is legit. Like where you're walking around, like getting lost. In yeah, a lot of those a lot like of English like theaters that are just so confusing to find the but, stage. And the lighting was all wackadoo mm-hmm. at this place. So I walked out on the stage in London and it was like so dark Did you go on Billy, stage. Billy Joel on him? And I... F- <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he freak out about the lighting? Yeah. yeah. Stop lighting the audience! <laughs> I want, sometimes I want to say that because no offense, but I don't want to see everybody because yeah. then I start looking at people and start think, like making up stories about their lives <laughs> in my head. <laughs> yeah, try it. yeah. Anyways, uh, I get up on stage and... I was, first of all, like, can anyone see me? Like, is this just a blackout situation? But then JP was like, no, your lights are on, you are good. But on stage, there was no stage lighting. Oh. Like, at first, there was just off. So I was walking on this black (laughs) stage. It was dark. And there's monitors on the ground. You know, there's these big black monitors, cables, stands. And for the first three, four minutes of that London show, I'm just trying to stay alive. I'm just trying, I'm just like, and then I could, like, sometimes I actually do look at my notes. I know it's like a joke that yeah. I look at the notes, but sometimes I do. And I was like, kind of flailing there for a second. And I could, of course, kind of hide, mask that through the character. But I'm just like, all right, what the fuck? Where am I? Where, like, I can't see anything. Um, it was very disorienting. But then they Are they still it. doing candles in London or? No. <laughs> 
But the uh, my favorite, I don't know where it was, but my favorite was when <laughs> he invited people up to the stage, and <laughs> the kid thought you were roughhousing. Oh my! Because you like have your guitar on, and you're like leaning back and forth, like trying to like get him to get into it. Well, we're doing this bit where we bring people up to dance during the song backwards. It's like a country, <laughs> like you know, you kind of do a little square dancing kind of thing. And uh, it, it was in Manchester, yeah. and it was it was yeah. St. Patrick's Day. Sweet kid. And this kid was wearing. Can you imagine on the nose? This how on the nose is. <laughs> He's wearing a, one of the, what's the from the uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia? That fancy, Kiss Me, I'm Irish? No, that the bar from always, oh, Patty's. Oh, the pub. house, yeah. He's wearing that on St. Patrick's Day. and So anyways, for some reason, <laughs> I think Vic brings him up. No. Yeah, Did you I? chose him. Oh, okay. You chose well, him. It's always me. I, I, pick the, I, pick, I pick the ones I like. He comes up, and we're supposed to just kind of like dance with each other. Like, you know, like Courtney Cox in the Bruce Springsteen video. Yeah, same kind of. And, yeah. and maybe I do like a little like tap or something mm -hmm. with him, you know? But he reads that as we are moshing. <laughs> and he comes in and he's like not big, but he's like strong. He's like young and strong. Uh -huh. You know, like just the center of gravity and Tim to him. Is so frail anymore. Yeah. Like and I'm weak and I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm skin and bones. And he gives me a full like mm. and uh, like first it hits me and I'm kind of like, hey, I give him a look, like. Easy. <laughs> but it could have been interpreted as, come on, that's all you got? That's well, all you're you got? Idiot, if you're a dimwit. <laughs> and then I don't go back to him, you know, <laughs> which is also a signal that, no, that's not what's happening here. Second time, he comes in for another one. Boom! Hard. And I go, I'm off, almost off my footing. And I look at JP being like, am I, <gasps> but you, am you, I being... You fell into the monitor. Well, then the third, oh, then the third, third time. time, he comes in, and I'm already kind of like, I'm like... You know, Apollo Creed at the end of, like, I'm already kind of weak legs, like, <laughs> holding my guitar, trying to do the fucking show, like, trying to also sing and play guitar. And then he comes in for a third. Boom! Boom. And I, you got something for me there? He I comes in for a third. Like Boom! <laughs> and I go down. I go into my pedal board, into my monitor for a second. Like, and then I get up, and JP comes out finally. Yeah, who knows what JP's up to? He comes in Hiding and out. gets the guy the fuck away from him. <laughs> Did he do that? But the whole time, this kid was smiling and thinking that he was doing a, a great service to the entertainment value of the show. I mean, it provided a lot of entertainment today, so I think it was worth it. <laughs> I'm laughing at it. No, it was okay, but I was a uh, dis. Uh, I was a uh, disturbed. It was, it was. It was a shock. <laughs> it was a, it was a, I'm like, oh, that's this is what this is what's going on in England over here. It's a rough house. He's hooligans. Hey, All right, let's take a call. <laughs> uh, how about our old pal, Max Fraley? Max. They were 16, Max. Remember that from Annie Hall? Hello, everyone. Creepy line. Oh, yeah, yeah. What the hell were they thinking? Twins, Max. <laughs> what? Max. You sicko. Max, there he is. You quit your job. What, what if Tony Roberts? Was that uh, his name? Tony I love Roberts. Tony Roberts, yeah. Tony Roberts? Right, yeah, yeah. The guy that's Roberts with the curly hair, yeah. I uh, would. Can you hear me now? Hey, Wood, can I yeah. talk to you about this line here? Yes. It says uh, they were 16. Yeah. <laughs> Twins. Can you imagine the mathematical possibilities? Uh, you just say it, you know? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just a little uncomfortable with that, you know. So can we make her? Uh, can we make them 18? What's the other movie where he's like, Jesus, just I've say got, the line, Tony. I've got, a, I've got a girlfriend with homework. What was oh, that one? Is that a uh, Henny Hall? I think. Max, Stating what's going on? Mary Who am I looking Hemingway? at behind you? That's him. Oh, that's that's me when I was a boy. All right, now I've seen it. There and it is. Please remove the picture. <laughs> okay. I'll stand in front of it. There you have go. some new. <laughs> Ew! What the <laughs> fuck is that? Water? That's disturbing. Oh, that fold looked a little I like, different. I like that. Bunch. I like it. Now, let me ask you. You got any new impressions for us? How do you like me now? Hell yes. <laughs> now, they do the one that goes up, that though. Just off the How do you like me now? How do you like me now? There it is. <laughs> Beautiful. That's good. <laughs> That's dead on. Lollipop, lollipop, lolly, lolly, lollipop, lollipop, lolly, 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 lolly,
Why don't you make like a? Why don't you record all these and then send them to the guys and yeah. they can put make a whole page of your impressions. Hell yeah! That use. Okay, I'll send it with I some of my it. child pictures. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank now you. Now you're talking. Now you're language. good. We're good. Yeah. How much uh, painting uh, are you doing these days? House painting. Oh, it's it's uh, the summer is more of a busy season, so it's starting to pick back up. Um, but uh, had a nice winter, uh, made my money, and didn't work too much. And nice, that's Great. what it's all about. Did you have uh, anything else? Um, hey, yeah, I just wanted to commend Doug for hosting so well. I mean. Th that was a really great episode and Thank i really you. didn't Thank know you. that doug kind of had that host candor and it it's awesome i had to step up you know because tim would probably be watching and judging and i had to i was sure, not watching i had to make sure i did it right the host with the most lord i believe that I... and there's been times like in the nine to five when tim wasn't there and he wasn't very happy with how everything went <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's, he's often happy. not happy I'm how happy things go. You guys oh, talked to happy. David Cross and it didn't go good. Anyway. <laughs> that, was a well, that was a nine to five. That <laughs> yeah. was a long haul. You know, and we're was, talking to David Cross. That's that scary. Tough. I don't know what to say to that guy. I got plenty of excuses. Um, <laughs> but, uh, and then, hey, Tim, I just had a question. The kind of a life. <clears> I don't talk to my dad anymore. Kind of a kind of an older dude question that I would like some advice on. All right. How do you keep from being so cynical in this fucked off, unoriginal, <laughs> mean spirited world? I know. I get so upset. You think sometimes. he's not cynical? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, like, okay, how do you not let your cynicism bleed into your everyday life and take it out on everybody? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, you saw the suction cup things. That's what he does. I suck it out with my cup. Suck it's it out. Sucked out of his no, skin. No, I. Don't know. I think we go through periods of uh, of melancholy or depression, or, to... or kind of like down on yourself or down on the world, and then you have mo you have periods of feeling really positive and really good. You kind of have I'm to like roll doing. with it. You got to practice gratitude and be happy with what you got. Yes, you do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> got to get him a new well, mic. So when I see no, yeah. when I see news about a. Uh, a Big Bang Theory spinoff in the works coming to Max. <laughs> there, oh. that does that does uh, hit me as sort of like, what am I doing? Who cares? My Why don't I get well, out of this situation? Because huh? huh? it's not well, I friendly to me at the moment. It is not a friendly. No, place but you're for you're the, buzzing on a different wavelength, and there's a certain amount of people in this world that buzz on that wavelength. And, and like, I'm I'm off the social medias and stuff like that because like. I really want to wonder why people like stuff that's not funny and not original and not good. Well, funny is subjective. I don't think we can just I don't do think paint so. a. He doesn't think so. <laughs> I don't think we can paint a big wide brush like you would do at, at a house. I know. Or a oh. paint roller. A roller. Or a spray. <laughs> that's a great callback. <laughs> and be like, it's not funny objectively. I disagree. There's people that have so different sense ideas. of humors. And you got a, uh, somebody that, that enjoys the Big Bang Theory uh, and does legitimately find it funny. Therefore, you can't say it's not funny, but uh, it's certainly not for me. And uh, I think uh, there is a cynical, um, programmatic kind of uh, rhythm to a lot of comedy we all see these days that if you're clued into other things tends to like aggravate you even more because you can see the well, moves, especially you can see like, the decisions being made, the sort of overt comedy choices being made on these programs or like commercials, for example, if you like a funny commercial, it's like, I see exactly what you're doing and it's, it's tired and it's redundant. Um, yeah, I saw what they were, I saw that rhythm 10 years ago on most likely an absolutely production <laughs> right. or, or something like that. Sure. Um, but so, I don't know, man. You got to enjoy your friends, enjoy your family. Uh, I keep a small circle and a small circle of things that I enjoy and yeah, and you have, cinema you have, universe, you have access mm -hmm. to Office so much. Universe. And, I mean, and, at, and like, there's so much, there's so much on cinema universe and there's so much office hours and other things. And there's Alan great Partridge. stuff sometimes, man. Well, and then, and then you got mm. fucking, the, the second somebody tries to target trans people, I, I, I want to go out and fight 
right, everyone. Yeah. That's yeah, that's the problem with like, social and, media. Like, there's no there's no clear well, yeah, way the to internet yeah. makes it it makes me able to find the person that I disagree with uh-huh. the most on a certain topic and gives me the ability to say, You're fucked, right. dude, and you should you you should be different and you're fucked. Um but then I can't do nothing happens for doesn't there. get you anywhere. Um no, and so and like I understand that like to <clears throat> counteract that, like I I I you know, dive into my trans homies or, or people that just, you know, fucking need help. I don't know. Yeah. But it's, well, that's great, man. Rough, and you're dude. a great <laughs> example of, uh, of a guy of a, what looks to be kind of just like a guy <laughs> that you might peg as kind of a problem. You know what I mean? You might see that guy down the street. Yeah. Being like, <laughs> yeah you, would, you would move to the other side of the road when he's coming by, down. No, but and you're uh you're an ally. You're a, you're a, and a you know an evolved man who evolved can gentleman. understand. I think being multifaceted is cool, and you can be a big tough dude. And I do jujitsu, and I paint houses, and I love good art, and yes. I fucking support somebody's desire to be who they want. Yes, and hey, man, brother, look at that. That's what I do. Wow, that's what I, that's what I, I mean. Matt, I'm not all buff or anything, but I uh, please like I me? watch the baseball. I watch hey. baseball. I like a cold Bud Light every once in a while, <laughs> hey. and uh, and then political. and I can also express myself and and uh, be silly and and support other people that are living alternate lifestyles. And I mean, it's it's all so good. Good ideas. Yeah. Look at my look at my appearance on Irish television. Just just look at that. Oh, that was that was that I mean, was great. Talk about, we all loved it. Talk about being comfortable with yourself and your sexuality and your gender. That's the, well, that's and the, I think a big part the, of me being multifaceted, right a big part of people being multifaceted <clears throat> is getting into cool art when they're young. Um, yeah, and, and I and I grew up with I grew up with Tim and Eric, and I grew up. I didn't know that Doug was a part of the GI Joe stuff, and and dude, that was hugely formative. Yeah. Well, let me say hugely this. formative. What was your first? Then, what was your first love? What was your first like art kind of thing related thing as a youngster? Oh, definitely like some sort of con- like probably uh, Ace Ventura when nature calls. There yeah. we go. And something like that. Where <laughs> oh I, like, man, oh that my one. Gosh. Nature I calls. swear to God, that's, that's uh, Ace Ventura. Too. The, one of the no. funniest things is Ace Ventura coming out of the rhino's ass. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's so fucking like, funny. Uh, his like physical, especially level. that was like top tier Jim Carrey. Right. And so no, it just weird. You know. And then when my older sister showed me, uh, you don't clean. I'm not clean. Oh yes. yes. There no, you go. You don't clean. I'm not clean. <laughs> now, was, yeah. the biggest threat, one of the biggest threats to our culture right now, and I was listening to some uh, radio thing last night about this, but it, and this is obvious, I don't this is obvious, <laughs> but the uh, stripping away of uh, elementary school uh, arts and music yeah. education. I don't clean. Because that's where kids get their little taste. They exactly. get to sing, they get to play, <laughs> they get to draw, and they feel that taste of times, satisfaction you get from being I'm creative. I'm sorry, but how many times have you heard artists say, like, I tried to tap into my inner child. Oh, I'm trying to do that in my mm-hmm. inner child. Da, da, da. Because children are fucking, like, no boundaries creative. And then yeah. we take that shit away from them, and we teach mm-hmm. them how to fucking sit quietly but, and work But for education, you can't, you can't make money for like, rich oh, people with education. That's, that's the main yeah, everybody issue. Everybody stopped cross <laughs> But yeah, I, I mean, I grew up with <laughs> art class and music class, and I remember second grade getting art artist of the month. And Yay! Like, and Miss Dornblazer in at Miller Heights Elementary you School. You had Miss Dornblazer? You didn't have Miss Dornblazer. Miller High Life? Miller High Life Elementary School. No, like changed my life and I think put me on a path. Like she showed interest in, in me like as an artist and... You know that kind of world, yes. and like I was like, oh, I can do this. I think this, you know, it's, that's like well. Now they grade. don't allow books at school. Well, now. that's the thing. That's I mean, L A L A school district though is such a mess. Like, there's most like schools don't have like a music. Like my my kids don't have music or art class. Like, if we want it, like the teach yeah. like the uh, parents have to get together and, and now I'm put lucky. The funding for it. My kids are in public school, but we have good uh, support from the PTA and everything. So there are like weekly activities and classes that they can do my daughter's in improv which i think yeah, is that's actually nuts. great yeah um that's i'm not sure about that <laughs> no i think it's uh, listen i goof on improv but <laughs> no, i'm just kidding yeah but for kids yeah. to what be able to play around like that holy shit holy well shit. yeah and so like you at school because me and my sister had <laughs> fucking weird ideas and if it, i don't know yeah i hear you all right I max i gotta go to my parents 
Okay, I gotta go too. Tim, I have some breaking news if you're cool with it. Yeah. See you at school tomorrow, baby girl. It's time for the new segment called Old News. Old News. <laughs> Okay. Nice. I like that old news. So let's put start. on your walking shoes and give me that old news. Now this this idea was born out of a joke I made Which about I, the passing. I didn't, understand it, yeah. I didn't get well. I understand not getting it, but I thought Doug would appreciate it. Maybe what? In the spirit of Al Jaffe, who passed away. All right, um, Mad Magazine. Somebody shared the story in their in our thread about Al Jaffe passing away and I said old news because he was 102 years old <laughs> that felt it took, like um, it took me a minute to catch yeah, that yeah. is, I was that felt like good pun. classic mad magazine yeah. humor right yeah right. but anyways Vic so as Vic said we should have a segment called old news I mean I Al it. Jaffe was the best of the mad the best of the my best. favorite mad oh of course artist. such iconic well, can you artwork. name another one uh Don we got yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Don. what's his name <laughs> You mean, uh, uh, oh, it's been, <laughs> there's, I, I feel yeah. stupid not knowing 30 years. It, Don Knotts. Right. William Gaines was the publisher, right? right. You had Mort. You had Mort Drucker. Mort, Mort Drucker. Drucker. Don, uh, H something. Someone his, in the chat will tell us. Don Hertzfeld. I don't know. But it, what was his, his thing was Don called? Don like, something else. No, not or Don like Bowles, you dickhead. It was, uh. Don Sergio. Good Sergio. Well, I don't Well, Sergio know. Aragones did the little things in the corner. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who did Spy vs. Um, Spy? We should have looked this up before. <laughs> All right, what's the do what's anyway, the uh, old news? Old news is Al Don Jaffe. Martin. Sorry, Don. Uh, Don Martin. That's yeah. it. Al Jaffe has passed away at 102. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's what we're going with. That's where we're going with. And then also, unfortunately, this week, actually today, we lost Mary Quaint. Um, she was 93, swinging 60s designer. She invented the miniskirt. Very big part of the miniskirt. Um, Karen Marsh Dahl. Uh, 1919, she was born. She's still alive at 104. Oh. And you know what she was? She was Judy Garland's stand in, <laughs> in uh, Wizard of Oz. Really? And interestingly, she survived the plane crash in 1949. She was thrown out of the plane and was one of the few survivors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> she's whoop, whoop. still going. And of the golden age of Hollywood, she's like one of the few. Yeah, that I was going to say, around. like, to be the stand in for Judy Garland. Yeah. And still be in the Wizard of Oz and still be alive. It's that's, big. That's a connection to history. So then we have uh, a tip um, just to keep people aware of what's going on. More and more restaurants and diners are offering senior <laughs> discounts. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of these places might not be advertising the senior discount, but if you if they don't mention it, just ask and they'll probably hook you up with it. So if you're over 62, I think is a is the age. Um, <laughs> Old news, sponsored by oh, AARP. AARP. Sign up for AARP. <laughs> Another thing is that I'm starting a campaign to have uh, seniors write the Ben Gay Corporation because Ben Gay smells bad, and when I'm around my Grammy or my Nana, <laughs> R.I.P., it stank. Because like, well, you know, that's, that's true because she's a dead corpse. Well, she was, but yes, but at the time she was alive, and it right. and it and it stinks. It doesn't make you want to hang out with them. Make an unscented version. Unscented, um, or what about uh, like a you are fired, an, a scented, uh, or or a nice like smelling scent? There's no reason it needs to smell that way. I love the smell of vanilla. Uh, we have one more tip coming in um, <laughs> for the old news. Injected it, we sniffed a little. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave the damn microwave plugged in. Yes, there's a small light on it with like a little digital clock, and it really isn't costing a lot of money to run. So just leave it Can plugged I have a in. Sniff? Um, also. As a suggestion for everyone to check out, uh, I was earlier today. I was listening to the SeniorLiving.org podcast, and they had uh, <laughs> senior citizen musician Rush Gershon on. And the host asked, "Like, why do these legacy artists still tour? They're in their 80s. You know, Mac is what 81 or something. Yeah. And he's like, you know, they could be at home living with their families, just counting their money, hanging out with their kids or, or grandkids or great grandkids. Sounds boring. As why hell. do they do that?" But it's because of the roar of the crowd. They love that. And I just thought that kind of piggybacked with our tour, Tim, because I am home now and depressed. You missed the roar. You get that port. Oh, yeah, that, that post tour yeah, depression. Yeah, I so. When Vic hits that high note on the harmonica, oh boy, does goodness. that place go nuts for yeah. no reason. I yeah. have a note yeah. for, um, for the old folks out there. Okay. I don't know if you experienced this, but when older people send you an email and they, sh they share something, mm -hmm. like a funny video. Yeah. It's the video is attached, and you have to download. You have a to whole press down because it's coming from like a yeah, like a they Nokia phone. There's or no, something. they don't know about links to YouTube. No videos, or it's like really tiny. You ever see that? Like the video comes in it's real small. small. Yeah. It's like why, why, Dad? 
They Why forward dad? the video, <laughs> and then you have to like download this file and then right. open it up, and then hope you have the right codec. Now I so got that distracted was earlier. I wanted to share my very minor funny story from being in Brighton at one of these seaside hotels. Doug, you'll appreciate this. This is a little bit of funny farce. Seaside sounds good. These uh, seaside hotels in Brighton are like kind of bed and breakfasts, old town like Victorian townhouses that have been converted into hotels, you know? Absolutely. And uh, we were checking in after the show to this hotel. So we were... Late at night. La yeah, late at night. So there's nobody really... There's no, like, lobby, really. We kind of just got had the keys sent to us or something. But anyways, some of these old British hotels, there's all sorts of hallways and sub-levels and weird little paths to get to where your room is. It's not... And there's no elevator. And I got my big suitcase. No, there's no lift. No lift, yeah. And, and what floor are you on? Well, so here's the thing. I get, your, your room is number 26, right? 26. Okay. Follow, follow people around. I'm try, I'm, I see signs for, I don't know what I saw, but I see signs pointing one, this way or that. I'm going up four steps. I see like one through 23 go this way. Or, you know uh -huh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And get up to one to 23. And, there's a, and I finally get up to the top. With my big old suitcase, four flights up, up these old Victorian steps. And your Stratocaster and your Telecaster. And I get to the last room I could see, and that last room mm. says, 25. <laughs> <laughs> 25. And I look around. There's nowhere to go. Throw your bags down the stairs. I go downstairs. <laughs> they got 26 in the basement. Oh, my God. Downstairs. <laughs> The fuck are you doing? <laughs> You're in the basement. Yeah, I mean it was fine. It was like a little, like it was not like in an actual basement. But also these like, nitwits, wallet. like they say, the the second floor <laughs> yeah. is the first, and like ground floor is zero. Gee, yeah, zero. That's, that's, Wally. I don't hate that. I do. I don't know. It's a lot to remember. <laughs> these nitwits. Because all the greedy fuckers have that on me. I want to give uh, Johnny, our, our driver, a shout out if he's listening. He's a good dude. Johnny Ray. Took, took us all to around. Say. Johnny Ray. All right, Matt, one more call, and then we will say goodbye until next week. Should we, let's check in with Coco, our old pal Coco. We haven't talked to you in a while. She doesn't have her hand You want to check in? Looks uh, like she's uh, at the bank. Yeah? Can you check in or no? Yeah? Thumbs up? No, oh, she can't check in. Uh, we got uh, Drop oh, Dead up there with his hand dead. raised. We talked to Drop I'm Dead. Let's give Rob Braslin. Oh. Give Rob Braslin a chance. Robert Braslin. Sorry, Drop Dead. Oh. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, how are you? Nice. Yeah, I'm very well, thanks. Um, man, this show's fantastic. I've seen it grow over the years. It's awesome. Well done, guys. Are you from uh, Australia Amazing. as well? Yeah, I'm from Tasmania, the southern state. It's a little bit colder down there. A bit colder, yeah. I'm outside. I was, I was at the mothership Joe Rogan's comedy room earlier, and I came all the way back home. Well, we only have a couple minutes, uh, as they do on NPR. We only yeah. have 30 seconds, so... Uh, what is this current land. state of politics uh, in Tasmania as it relates to the rest of the country? And do you find that there's a uh, disconnect between mm. the parliament and the governing bodies outside of the country? When we only have 30 hit seconds. Hit the nail on the head. <laughs> yeah, you hit the nail on the head, Tim. Well done. Um, the housing crisis here is chaotic and crazy. Um, and they're not talking to each other, These the state and federal governments. It's a mess. It's yeah. a disaster. All right, no, I was just for real, though, what, how can I help you? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, um, I was wondering, uh, do you have words that people in your town only use or the people in your regional state only use? Yes. Because I have words here in Tasmania. Yeah. In Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania Dutch. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do you call that? Um, dialect or whatever. Mm -hmm. that, that filtered into, I'm trying to think of a good one, uh, fussy, if you're fussy. That's oh, fussy, first, okay. When it, if it rains a little bit, it's called a spritz. Spritz? spritz. Yeah, spritz. Germanic kind of... Uh, yeah. Um, we, say, we say cobber, Danny. You know, you say, you know, in Australia, you say mate. Yeah. In Tasmania, we say cobber. Hey, cobber. Cop, like C-O-B-B-E-R? Yeah. That's it. What does that mean? Just means mate. I know it means mate, but what is it? What is a cava, C A B A. What's a cava? I have no know. idea. He doesn't know. You gotta go. You gotta. I look don't know. The etymology of that. My, uh, I have one more thing, Tim. I was wondering, are you a big fan of Matt Berry's music? You know, I love Matt Berry. I haven't 
Uh, I, I'm ashamed to say I haven't dug deeply into his music. Uh, Man, you guys have to jam. You guys would yeah. get on so well. I love this song. Cobra comes from Comrade. There you go. So, uh, oh, is that's there a, a great song. added to that? I don't know. I don't know. Vic's Comrade. trying to play a song. And no Cobber with an R. Yeah, listen to this. Hold on. You know this one, dude? Oh, yeah, I love that theme, one, right? Oh, yeah. From, uh, oh, yeah. It's Toast of London theme. Toast. Oh, it's a great song. Yeah, yeah. I know that song. Hey, I wrote out. I, 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 I reached out to Matt Berry. Come to my show, and I'm in London. I heard nothing back because he was in California. Or, he was you. on the best show. You know who was there though? Julian Barrett, Howard Moon from oh. uh, Mighty Boosh was in, oh. in the audience. That's and huge. Also, uh, our friend from our show here. Uh, what's her name? Natasha um, from What We Do in the Shadows. Oh, oh yeah, Demetria. Dan. Demetria. Dan Mulcahy was there. Oh, well, that's true, too. <laughs> he does all our cool videos. That, Wait, which guy from era. Bosch? Huh? That's fun. But, which guy from Mighty Bosch? He met uh, such a star Mighty Bosch. I know. <laughs> He's like, I gotta get in on I've this. I've got one thing, if you haven't <laughs> seen it. Um, Looking, AD, AD, AD. Julian Barrett, I love that guy. Mm -hmm. And Nathan. Uh, uh, AD Bass, say a rock and, opera. Um, yeah, yeah, one person at a time, time guys. I got one thing Art. to recommend if you haven't seen it. It's called ADBC, a rock opera. It's got all those guys in it. It's Matt Berry, Julian yeah. Barrett, uh, Julie Davis. It's amazing. It's one of the best things ever made. Nathan Barley is one of the Nathan best Barley, yeah. TV oh, shows Bailey's ever made. Yeah. I never liked yeah. that show. Really? Nathan Barley as much. So I thought it was Watch, too... Listen to the opening song to um, ADBC, a rock opera. It's what amazing. Am I listening? What are you saying? ADBC? <laughs> yeah, ADBC. Yeah. ADBC, a rock opera. It's a parody of like Jesus Christ Superstar. Oh. Didn't they do yeah. Hamlet 2, or am I making that up? You ever seen That's that? a Steve Coogan thing. Oh, okay. yeah. never mind. I'll tell you what, I had a great... Oh, yeah, you had a cool... Uh... I had a good lunch, not with Steve Coogan, but... <laughs> I had a good lunch with uh, the writers of the Steve Coogan stuff and their, and their production company. We had a nice lunch. Oh, those guys are hilarious. At, uh, the Gibbons Brothers, and we had a nice, nice gentleman's lunch. Talked about comedy. <laughs> Uh, Matt Berry recorded a song with Paul McCartney. What? Uh, oh, fuck he, him. he really did. Well, he fuck did. him. It's, it's called The Rain Came Down. I'm not sure it's him. I think it's Peter Serafinowicz. Well, I fucking made a song uh, with yeah. John Fogarty. <laughs> I didn't like that. Pretty hard. I wasn't going to tell anybody, but it's true. That's hot, dude. And it came out badly. And we're burying it. <laughs> Is it a, a bad, bad recording? Song? Bad song, <laughs> bad performance, and poorly, poorly performed. And oh, poorly no. recorded. But John was a sweetheart. John's a sweetheart. We said, Is this real? I don't know. Yeah, I, I went in with John. Oh, okay. Up in his studio in uh, Lodi Marin County. Cool. Lodi. Lodi. He and he was a big fan of my music. He had enjoyed Fear of Death in high school and said, Hey, come on up to Lodi. I want to, I want to jam with you. Maybe we can record something. <laughs> I'm um, John. I'll be there. Into Randy Newman all of a sudden. Someone <laughs> told me long ago. Come to my studio, right up around the bend. Right, Come up just... to my studio. I want to record with you. Come on down to the Have corner. You ever seen? And uh, I get up there, and he's got a nice set up there, nice like home studio. And we, <laughs> I came up with a couple ideas. He kind of shot them down, and we started getting into this kind of run, da, run, da, run, da, run, da, like a little like I'm trying to. <laughs> Yeah, just yeah, like go. Couple theme. Yeah, that's nice. That kind of stuff. Nice. Yeah, that kind of music. I like this team. And he starts, and we're playing that. Give me some of that. Some boogie woogie. Yeah, some boogie woogie. And then he starts going. I think you're great at guitar. <laughs> Woman who sits on my head. Screaming <laughs> <laughs> his, his full head off. <laughs> I got a big fat woman sitting on my head. And, and I was like, how, how do his vocal cords it, sound after 50 yeah. plus years of screaming? I was off. like, this ain't gonna get any airplay, John. <laughs> You said I got a big fat woman sitting on my head. I got a big fat woman sitting on my head. I know. <laughs> Pretty soon I'm gonna be dead. I can't breathe under here. I'm filled with fear. Have you ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a big fat woman sitting on my head. 
I'm just playing along. I'm like, I'm ah. just trying to keep up. He's playing a legend. Blue, what are you going to do? Blue. Can't correct him. No. Tim, if you ever come to uh, my hometown, man, uh, Nipaluna, uh, the Mona Museum, amazing. They have the original recording desk that the Beatles used. Wow. Um, they got it shipped in for the White Album. The, wow. When they used the White Album. Yeah. Well, you've just interrupted the flow of my John Fogarty bit. <laughs> it wasn't that good. Ah, you <laughs> son of a bitch! Stop being a drum, though. That was very funny. It was very All right. funny, too. All right, uh... To my friends down under, to my friends in Berl, uh, Bonn, Germany, to my friends in Goa, India, and everybody else across this great country and world, what an honor it is to have you in my life, and uh, may you have a wonderful week ahead and weekend, and next week, Matt, what do we have planned? Anything? Any news? No. Oh, yeah. Who's uh, the... Pat Finnerty? Uh, Pat Finnerty. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's going to be a good one. And, a lot of rock and, and uh, some else. Some other people. <clears throat> Madison McFerrin. Madison McFerrin and Fun some stuff. other people. 420, too. dude. 420. Pat Finnerty, the guy with the re- with the ring with the kid goes, uh, we won, we won, we won? No, that's... No. Uh, that's Patrick Finnerty. <laughs> it's a different <laughs> Finnerty. Both. We won, we won, we won! We won, we won, we won! <laughs> Alright, everybody, all the best. Enjoy this drop concert. Subscribe if you're watching on the old Tim Heidecker channel, which will still be, by the way, let me just say. I mean, I'm still gonna post things up there. So, don't unsubscribe. Uh, uh, Tim's channel. No, I mean, don't unsubscribe. I'll put up other shit up there. Just right add a subscription right. to youtube.com slash Office Hours Live. And Office Hours Plus. Free this you, week. I love you, I love you, daddy. It's not hot, it's a cold cigarette. Story, he's alive again. Jesus has arisen. Go and tell all men. Go and make disciples as you spread his fame. Teaching and baptizing them in Jesus' name. Go and tell the story. Oh, you know it's true. Jesus is alive and he will go with you. In the garden, there is still an empty grave. Jesus lives. He is alive again. He's alive again. <laughs> Make up a catarabaca, a bagabaca, a bagabaca, a bagabaca, a bagabaca, a bagabaca,
Country gate, purple, 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 purple. We have to keep our country gate, purple, purple, purple. You want farts? Uh, purple, you can't purple, have farts. We have to keep our country gate, purple. Uh, Are you ready to smile? <laughs> This is like woke central. Maybe I've smoked too much pot. Everybody. Your wife farts. If you can't handle fart, you can't handle me. 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 Ice up. 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 Pounding. 